don't have time when we are listening to the commercials where we can talk to one another without taking our headsets off because that button clicks? Yeah. Would that be a way to talk to whoever's wearing those earpieces without everybody hearing us? Possible. Let me play with it and see if I can I was just curious. There's something out. I was thinking about the other day when we had them on those transfer. I don't know if you've seen those. I'm trying to remember how. I don't even remember I how we did that. I know. It was one of these. I know it was uh. one of these. Actually, kicking out any cold air yet? I mean, it's been kicking out cold air. It's just it's moving. That's the thing. I wonder if there's a point where we can close the window. Yeah, that's what I mean. Just push the door.
Good evening, Bison fans, and welcome to another uh, playoff game here for the Capital City Bison. They're getting ready to face off against the Texas Ravens out of San Antonio, and they are facing off here at McNeil Mavericks uh, Stadium right here at McNeil High School in Round Rock, right. Texas. I'm Daniel Chancellor alongside the uh, color commentator, producer, again, Mr. Everything, Kevin <laughs> McAdams, and our camera operator, Zachary Langley, helping us out up here in the booth tonight. Kevin, we've got a great uh, playoff matchup here tonight against our uh, Capital City Bison and the Texas Ravens making the trip from San Antonio. This yeah. was a really close game uh, last week uh, in playoff. When we talk about the playoffs for our uh, our Capital City Bison, barely, barely squeaked by the San Antonio Warriors 10-6 to wow. continue this playoff run. So in their last four games, quite honestly, and we've been a witness to at least one of those, their last four games have been really close. They've kind of hit this where they're still in the win bracket, but – They've, uh, they've kind of struggled a little bit here over the last few weeks to put up those big scores like they did in the beginning of the season. And yet the uh, the Bison come out on top in the uh, in the capital in the capital region. Oh, yeah. Here, come out uh, big time. What was the final record? There we go. 9-1. 9-1. Heading into the playoffs. 9-1 so, yeah. heading into the playoffs. So, I mean, very decisively coming out on top. Yes, that last game was close, but um, absolutely no doubt as to whether our Bison belong here in the uh, first round of the BSFL playoffs or not. Uh, we are probably going to see the biggest physical challenge of the season tonight. Of course, we are in a much smaller, more intimate venue tonight. Yep, yep. So um, we're going to have better views of the field, a little bit better view of the play. But for the players and also for you, me, and Zach when we got here and uh, also the fans still out there in the stands, it's what like it's like 101 degrees today. Yeah, it, it's pretty steamy. It's it's a uh, I don't, you know, we we're I've realized how spoiled we actually are as broadcasters, even at the yeah. at the w at the Wi-Fi level because, <laughs> even, you know, <laughs> -fi we level. at the Wi-Fi level because at least you know you get in the press box, you have the AC going, and we talk about oh it's 100 and something degrees. It's probably 118 on the field, you know, and then yeah, I hope well, they hydrated. Well, tonight well, today, we got I hope to we experience hydrated. it, yeah. and okay. even here in this little press box, it is a it's a sauna here. So, but where I'm with this is this is going to be the biggest physical test of these players this is going to test the conditioning this is going to test the dedication this is going to test the toughness today and you know even at halftime when uh, we were at the bigger stadium the last few home games that we did um you know you had the air-conditioned locker room to go to at halftime right. tonight they, they ain't got that. that tonight the night you got the canopy on the sideline so yeah, they've got a bunch of canopies that, set up uh, on the That side right line. there is the locker room right there. And if you look directly across, you can see the Ravens brought a couple of their own. So this is where they're going to be, and it's going to be like that. I mean, that's going to be essential, at least until the sun goes down. Right. Now, the sun is going to set behind our position. We are actually looking to the northeast here uh, toward the heart of Round Rock. So the sun will be setting behind the press box. And you can see the shadow of the light pulse there in the shot. So... At least there'll be a little bit of shade, but uh, not a lot. Yeah, kickoff scheduled for 7 p.m. Sunset at 8.33. So we'll be an hour and a half into the game, probably yeah. close to halftime by the time the Bef sunset. Before the lights even yeah, come on. Yeah, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a hot, steamy one. And you mentioned it before, you know, not that don't have the AC to go in and cool off and try to just, uh, you know, regenerate a little bit. The conditioning, hydration, hydration, hydration. hydration. That hopefully this got team mine is, right here. Yeah, hopefully both these teams have been drinking a lot of water and a lot of Gatorade this week because they are going to need it here tonight. So we had some good performances in our last home game. I know we've got some stats we can run through from. Uh, we don't have anything from the San Antonio game unfortunately, right. but uh, our last game uh, was against the uh, 
It was actually against the Austin Vipers. The Austin Vipers, that's yeah. right. And the Vipers did a really good job. They've tested this defense. They were able to put 284 passing yards on our defense, but only 72 yards on the ground. So while the defense was able to give up some yards through the air, they were able to really keep them in check on the ground. And we've really had a stout rushing defense all season long. So kind of used to seeing us giving up the passing yards, but uh, that was pretty much on par for what I'm used to seeing this this Bison group doing on the ground. They are defensively. They did a fantastic job. And you know, you know what? That a 10-6 score in San Antonio. That kind of tells me something. That tells me nobody played offense. Yeah, exactly. That, that was that. I mean, without even looking at the game, and I'm sure the film is out there. And but uh, without even looking at the game, I'll be like, yeah. Did anybody play offense tonight, or was defense? Man, it was just a total defensive show. Passing for our Capital City Bison against the Vipers a couple of weeks ago, we were only able to put 158 through the air, 7.5 yards per uh, per catch on that. Uh, on those receptions, and it was just a rough night, unfortunately, for the backfield and the off for the offense. Uh, for the on the ground, though, Love with a little bit of help from his backfield and from the backups, Gabriel to put 119 yards on the ground, 6.2 or 6.3 yards per carry. That is pivotal. That is important. We are going to have to keep that going here tonight against the uh, Ravens, and more importantly, I think we're going to have to. Like again, we don't know the San Antonio how the San Antonio game went, but clearly 10-6 score. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, offense done, as, you, as Kevin mentioned, but. Offensively, we're going to have to get that passing game back on check like we had it in the first couple of games that we broadcast for them. Well, looking forward to a great game tonight. Uh, of course, we are in a much smaller, this is uh, actually a field that uh, Round Rock ISD uses for sub-varsity games um, here. Although we do have a top quality field itself. The field of play, oh, the field of play is play an is incredible gorgeous. artificial surface. So not sacrificing any quality there. And, yeah, man, you know what? I actually like other than the heat, I actually <laughs> like being in the smaller venue because, you know. Um, well, one thing for sure, you're going to get more, the crowd's closer to us. Yeah, so we're going to exactly. get a lot more of the crowd interaction with us. So, uh, you know, at, at Round Rock Stadium, at Dragon Stadium, it was a bigger stadium, spread out a little bit more. Everybody right. stretched out. So, But here, even the uh, even the Ravens fans are sitting over here. So we're going to hear cheering and booing from both sides right in front of us. So it's going to be interesting. So it's going to be a more intense, more intimate experience tonight. And, uh, man, I think that's a good thing. Looks like we might be uh, getting ready for the coin toss here. Harris and Sheffield, the team captains for the Bison tonight. See, we're close enough Harris, here that yeah. we can read the back of their jerseys. <laughs> I can't do that at Dragon, man. Uh, I like it. Don't have to wear you. Now it, where you couldn't wear your readers at Dragon because we're too high here, you might actually have to wear your readers to, <laughs> to uh, see oh, the jerseys. No, no, no. I, I got old man bifocals. Uh, progressive lenses. Progressive lenses, lenses that's right. right. Well, we got a, it looks like at least four or five captains for the Ravens. We'll wait until they start stepping out, and there it is. Number zero, that's going to be Sean Mueller. Number zero. Number Sean two, Mueller. Harold Monty or Corbin number Mason. Two. It could be Corbin Mason. Harold Monty. Jerome Gray, number nine. Number nine, Jerome and Gray. And I believe he's got his jersey pulled up, so it's hard to tell, but it could be number 12 or number 15. Really hard to tell for the other captain. Number oh, yeah, I see. On, on our left there. Yeah, yeah. Captains for our Bison. Number zero, Barrett Graves. Number Captain two, Bryson. Devontae Jones. Zero, number seven, Josh Harris. And as Kevin number mentioned, two, number Devontae 70. Jones. Number seven, Don Josh Sheffield. Harris. Number 70. Don You heard that, man. It's playoff time. Do, 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 do. All right, coin toss is done. 
Not sure who won it, unfortunately. Actually, the ref will tell us. The Ravens won the coin toss and have elected to defend the south end zone or the right side of the field. Bison will kick off and yes, defend the north end zone. Right in front of us here. You can see they've gathered the, the kickoff team. That's getting ready to head out. One of the largest muscular kickers I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some league. noise for playoff football. Number 32 out on the field, hey, uh, Trevor Spaulding. Playoff football in June. Ju I almost said July. You feels like July. July. It it's feels June. Like, it Playoff like football August in right June. <laughs> like August. They're talking about how we've already had six 100 degree days, and it's you know, it's barely June. Usually we don't start hitting the 100 degree days until late June, early August, and. Ooh wee, it's been nasty. You it's were here in 2011 though, right? Oh yeah, well, 90 we had, we had straight like, days. We had like, yeah, almost 100 days. 90 straight days of over 100 degrees. Trevor Spalding, I worked from home at the time for the most part. and Back to I didn't leave the apartment for like seven days straight at one point. <laughs> it's just too hot. Receive. The battle of the purple will begin here tonight in a matter of minutes, 15 minutes on the clock. First quarter about to get underway here from McNeil Maverick Stadium. And it really does feel like the field is way, way bigger, this much closer. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun to call. <laughs> All right, ball's teed up at the 35-yard line. Spalding's ready to go. Three deep returners for the Ravens. And the ball falls over. I, I don't it's not in the camera shot right now, but First we can play we by can play call the game right there. And the ball falls over. <laughs> <laughs> well you can see the wind flopping the uh, canopies right here on the near sideline. Sean Miller. And it's like John Jones and Jacoby Bryson back deep to return, and it's going to be. It's like Jones is going to get it. Number 23, excuse me. Don't have a 23 on a roster for the Ravens, but they're going to bring it up to around the 31 yard line to get things started here. We'll start out first and 10 for the Ravens from their own 30, 32, 31, 31. 31. 31. So yeah, 69 yards to pay dirt. Let's see if the Bison defense can step up and be great to see this first uh, series go three and out for the Ravens. Underway here, Ravens quarterback number 12, Marcus Carter, puts a man in motion. There's the snap, it's a handoff, and they read it beautifully. Big stop by the defense back to the line of scrimmage, no gain. That'll bring up second and 10 for the Ravens. The defensive front from the Bison was really on top of things right there, shaking off the blocks and plugging up every single hole, man. The running back had nowhere to go. They're actually starting this drive on their own 35, not their 31, I apologize. No, I, I saw the stick too. Yeah, it looked like they had it at 31, but second and 10 here after the big stop. 
And the snap, handoff. State Cat tries to keep it in the middle again. Rashard Anderson on the carry just can't find a hole because this Bison defense is just all over the ball carrier. Keep that going all night, man. Two yards on the gain is all he could, or on the ground is all he could get. Zach, can you push in a little closer, please? That'll there you be, go. That'll be third and eight now for the Ravens as they are set up on their own 37-yard line now. Carter again puts a man in motion. That's Mueller. And we're going to have a flag on this yeah. one. A little encroachment possibly. Maybe a false start. We'll see what the uh, head zebra says. I was looking at the screen here. It actually kind of looked to me like maybe uh, Bison jumped and didn't quite get back in time. But we'll That's see what, what the I zebra saw. says. Yep, uh, that penalty is actually going to go. Yep, actually going against the Bison. So they're going to mark off five. Makes third and eight. Third and three. Third and three. A couple of minutes into this first quarter. 13.23 on the clock now. Still an opportunity to get the Ravens off the field on a three and out. There's a ball's on the turf. It looks like did the Bison recover it. Yes. The Bison get on top of it, number 33, I believe. Yes, it is coming through big for the defense. Kalen Bright, excuse, yes, Kalen Bright from the middle linebacker position, representing Texas Southern University very well with that play and gets the Bison on the field early and in some great field position. That Bison defense, man, that the front guys on that defensive line are just a solid wall, man. Seriously, you got to hope they can keep that up all night. As we talked about in the pregame, with this weather, man, your conditioning is, is what's going to win this game for you, I think. So the Bison are going to get to set up on the Ravens' 39-yard line. First and 10, Harris the snap. We're going to have a flag blow this one dead. I believe the defense is going to jump off sides on that one. Okay, still first and, oh, nope, nope they're moving that, okay. Second. Yeah, first and 10 will become uh, first and five after the Bison, or excuse me, after the Ravens jump off sides. and Love in the backfield. That's a great duo. Love with the moves, outrun, outmaneuvers one tackler. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage, but actually did a really good job of not getting beat in the backfield. So maybe, a, yeah, back to the line of scrimmage is what they give them. So second and five, no gain on the play for Love. Both teams uh, playing very conservative right now, deciding to keep it on the ground here early in the game. Harris doesn't like the way the defense is set up. Or at least it appeared as much. After a check down, hands off to Love again. The far side squirts through and getting to the secondary all the way up to the 22-yard line. That's going to be a first down and about a 12-yard carry. Take another quick look at that run. You can see the power of Love as he goes through that uh, gap on the far side. And the tackler has to go down to bring him, you know, to tackle him. Can't really, uh, you know, handle it face to face. And 
That's actually going to be spotted at the 23-yard line. A free play for the Bison. They're going to take advantage of it. Pass over the middle is caught for a first down. Beautifully done by the Bison. Also a really good job by Zachary to catch that play. Camera work. Another first, now actually first and goal for the Bison as they are inside the 10. Great job. Taking advantage of the uh, Ravens jumping off sides. First down and goal. Touchdown, Bison. Love Football. is going to get in there for the Number Bison, 41. putting the first score on the board, getting Mr. ahead Aaron of the Ravens Love. in this very important playoff matchup. Ravens hurting badly after that fumble. Uh, defense couldn't keep them out of the end zone. The Bison score first. The extra point, Zach. Six and nothing. For the Bison, extra point try coming up. Some player personnel coming on late for the Bison. Harris the holder, kick is up, almost blocked. And through the uprights, it's good. Seven, nothing. The Bison kick is good. striking first. Bison leads the Ravens. 11-11 left to go here in the first quarter. Bison looking really, really good out there, Kevin. Yeah, definitely. You know, just a second. I want to look. Take another look at uh, Love's touchdown run. And so we'll take another quick look at. Nope, that's the wrong clip. Excuse me. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, the heat is affecting all the systems tonight. So oh, it's hot. Well, I tell you what. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, looking at Love's first long run that set them up for that scoring drive. All right, we'll revisit that later. Back to real time. So the Bison take just about two minutes off the clock, just a little under two minutes off the clock. Able to get six or seven out of it. More importantly, that defense for the Bison giving the offense the opportunity inside the 40-yard line on the Raven side of the field. And that was probably just as important, obviously just as important as that scoring drive. Kickoff by Spalding. It's gonna be recovered by Mueller. Mueller's gonna bring it out from about the 10 yard line, past the 25, up to the 30. Got blockers in front of him and down at the 36 or so yard line. Big run there. Plus or minus 25 yards on the return. Eleven o two left to go in the quarter. And the Ravens will be set up on their own 37. We didn't really get to see much offensively from the Ravens on their first uh, on their first possession. No, kept it on the ground for three plays, then put it on the ground on their fourth. So, Let's see if they try anything different this time. Marcus Carter with the snap. There's the handoff. Big running back for the Ravens as he keeps driving his legs forward. The bus is pulling through. Look out, folks! Rumbles ahead for 12 yards with eight. Defensive players on his back. Just look at this, man. Just, I got the replay up right now. Look at him dragging half the team with him. I don't know if it was Harold Monty or Corbin Mason. It was number two for the Ravens. Either way, don't have positioning on the roster, but what a heck of a run there. Oh, wow. Now, if he can do that eight or nine more times, that's a touchdown. Yeah, well, don't. <laughs> Don't, 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 don't encourage wish him. that. Don't wish that on our Bison as they hand it off again to big number two. This time they're going to go low, stop him before he can get going. It's still going to be about a five-yard gain and into Bison territory. Oh, 
Second and five for the Ravens. Now at the Bison 46 yard line. Carter with the snap, looking to throw, flag on the play, has a man caught on the far side at the 40, gonna get taken down at the 35. As of right now, it's a first down for the Ravens. We'll have to see what the flag is. And here comes the call from the head ref. Legal formation going Illegal against formation the Ravens. On the offense. So they're going to back them up and replay the down. Replay the down. Catch, catch that man. Smaller venue is cool. We could hear the ref. Yeah, and he ain't got a microphone. On the, on the, on the crowd <laughs> mic. Isn't that awesome? So they're going to back them up five. Which is going to give a second and ten? Yes, sir. Okay. And it also puts them back on their side of the field at the 49 yard line. 9.24 and counting in this first quarter. Seven nothing, our Bison on top. Carter looking to throw, finally gets rid of it. No man to open and there's the flag coming in late. The intended target, Sean Mueller. And this is gonna be in the area of pass flag interference, unfortunately against the Bison. And that'll be an automatic first down. Defensive holding on the defense. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, they're going to call defensive holding. I thought it was going to be pass interference. 10 yard penalty. All right, well, that won't be as bad. Automatic Not as bad. first down. But still, I mean, got to watch those penalties, man. I mean, that's, you're on the verge of keeping them bottled up in their own on their own side of the field and let them earn their way across the 50. First and 10 for the Ravens at the Bison 41 yard line. After the penalty, 9.04 and counting here at Maverick Stadium. Ravens trying to answer back from that scoring drive after giving up the ball on their last offensive drive. And here's a big pass play over the head of Mueller. Actually, the closest receiver wasn't even a Raven. It was a Bison. And that was number 17, Kadarian Booker, who was right there. If he'd have had a little bit more uh, step on the wide receiver, he could have had himself a new INT down there. Incomplete pass results in a second and 10 for the Ravens. Second and 10 try, big good play on the ground, and finally taken down. Far side of the field, but not until the first Three down is made. For a Ravens first down, running back Corbin Mason. yard run on the ground. That was a really nice run by Mason. Brings up another first and 10 for the Ravens. And now at the Bison 24. Do we have a timeout on the field? I believe we do. Didn't see who called the timeout, but we do have a timeout. The officials calling it in. Seems to be a real quick conference amongst, amongst the officiating staff right now. Ravens offensive unit playing uh, much better in this offensive drive so far. 
Trying to stretch things out with the passing plays. Switching over to Corbin to her uh, running back duties has resulted in uh, positive results for them as well. So now the defense for our Bison need to make the adjustments necessary. Back under play here, 8.19 on the clock. Man in motion for the Ravens. Carter with the snap, looks to throw far side. Has a man right past the first down marker. Spins, Spins out, of two, out tackles. of two tackles and down inside the 10 yard line. Looks to be about at the six or seven. Let's take a quick look at that real quick because that was a sweetly executed pass play. Quarterback releases. There's the catch, spin once, spin twice. Come out of the spin cycle and get tackled. Hard to read the roster on that one for number 21. That next play, quick on the snap, doesn't go anywhere. Back to the line of scrimmage. So second and goal from the six for the Ravens. Second down, six yards to go for the Ravens. to throw, Carter rolls out, finally makes his, oh, oh beautifully done. Number 17, Kadarian Booker times that just beautifully, gets his hands on it, deflects the pass. pass. Third down. Booker, early in this ball game, looking for a defensive player of the game honors. That'll bring up third and goal for the Ravens if the Bison can keep the Ravens out of the end zone or at least hold them to three. I would call that a victory for this defense right now. Carter with the snap, finally on the delayed handoff. It's gonna go to Corbin and he is gonna go nowhere. Looks like he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So fourth and goal here for the Ravens and they've got a decision to make. Fourth and goal from the, six. from the Number six. Number two, Harold Monty with zero yards on the carry. But well, still early in the game. I mean, yeah, you could take the easy field goal. That brings up fourth down and goal. It looks like they're going to go for it. Yep, six and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Already gambling a little bit here. Defense has stepped up big these last three plays. One more to go. They'll take over on their own six. Let's see what happens here. Ravens snap it, hand it off. Speedy running back, finds a gap and rumbles forward. He may have the touchdown. No, he doesn't. He Whoa. gets stopped at the two yard line and the Bison defense holds. They give up a couple Bison of yards. Epic goal line stand, man. Yards. You gotta love that. Turnover on down, Bison ball. So he gets four yards on the run, but it's not enough to get the touchdown. That'll be a turnover on downs. They do eat a good amount of time off the clock, I have to admit. They took over at 11.02, 6.12 now is all that's left here in this first quarter. So almost ticking a little over five minutes. It's just a shame to, you know, to come all that way and still not be able to close the deal from the oh, six. Oh, man, that's a great job on our defense, though. I got to love that all day long. Oh, yeah. They bent, but they didn't break. It's the Bison football show. It does put, <laughs> uh, yeah, it does put the offense in a little bit of a tight spot. As Harris has stepped in his own uh, end zone here, hands it off to Love. Love drives forward after he's able to get out of a couple of tackles that were in the end zone. I saw so, one of the players out there flashing safety. There's another one. Not quite. I, I love yeah. was able to get out. They're going to mark him just outside the goal line. So he will take a two-yard loss, unfortunately. So what are we? Second and two-yard loss and on the play. Second and eleven. Second and eleven. Second down. Eleven yards to go. Okay. As much as, as, as risky as it is, this is where you put the ball in Harris's hand, let him get a quick slant pass, maybe get six or seven yards, get him a little yeah. comfort off Yeah, that. get yourself some breathing room yeah. there. See if 
they decide to do that or give Love one more try to get him off the goal line. And it is going to be a handoff to Glove, and that, unfortunately, That's will be a safety. safety. So Love safety unable to get out of the end zone. He will go down. By Ravens D tackle number 94, Jason Flores. Two points for your Raven. All right, score 7 2. And the Bison will have to punt the ball away to the Ravens. So, with 519 left to go here in the first quarter, your score are Capital City Bison 7. The uh, San Antonio Ravens, two after the big defensive play to get love in the backfield, and not only in the backfield, but obviously in the end zone. And you know, Chance, I agreed with your estimation on that. Um, a nice slant pass to get some breathing room off the goal line would have been great there. Yeah, unfortunately it didn't work out. The Bison will have to punt this one away. So big number 32 come out to send this ball to the Ravens and they'll have another opportunity to see if they can keep that offensive drive Kicker, train Trevor going that they had in that last one because they really did have a good drive going Out until the defense was able to finally stop them Cap at the two yard line. So right. if they were able to build off that, especially that, that momentum from getting and the safety, zero. this could uh, turn things around for the, for the Ravens Miller real quick. For the Ravens. Make some noise for playoff football in Texas. Kickoff, taking it to 21. Number zero running with that. That's Mueller. Look yeah. out for him. He's fast. Able to get all the way inside the 45. Caught Up. a couple of good blocks on over there on the far hashtag. Up to the 46. The uh, that's going to be some really good field line. position for the Ravens. First down, Ravens. Welcome everybody following along on Facebook Live. It's good to have you here with us in Capital City Bison's playoff football. Round one of the BSFL playoffs versus the Texas Ravens out of San Antonio. Coming to you from McNeil Maverick Stadium. Somewhere on the border of Austin and Round Rock. Not quite the view that we have from Dragon Stadium, but still not too bad. Well, after dark, we'll see if we can focus on that cellular tower over yeah. there. <laughs> the little blinking light at the top. <laughs> it ought to be, yeah, it ought to be lit up pretty good. Instead of the round rock water tower that we normally have. Uh, we've got uh, some kind of huge storage tank over there. And if yeah, you go a little yeah. further out, you get you the, the concrete uh, plant. Yeah, you get the, the, the white lime quarry. Yeah. Little run on the play there for the Ravens. Only results in two yards. It brings up second and eight. Oh, pardon me, everybody. I forgot no, that's to, fine. No, I forgot to set the down and distance on the graphic. Was too busy admiring the beautiful scenery. <laughs> Carter, shotgun formation with the snap. Delay handoff right up the middle. Number seven on the carry. That's Rashard Anderson. The speedy back, able to spin out of a couple of tackles, Rashard get a couple Anderson extra yards, gets carry. into Bison territory up to the 49. Into Bison territory. Now we'll be looking at a third, third down, and five. Five yards to go. Third and five from the Bison 49. Ravens trying to keep this offensive drive going. Bison looking to stop it right here. Carter with the snap. Got a little bit of pressure. Able to dump it off to his running back. Hit and spins out of the tackle. Holy moly, what a good job. Again, Anderson getting his number called, making the best of it. Gets six when first they needed down, five. First Anderson. down for the Ravens. Little dump off pass, just a good job by Carter to see his running back there. Everybody else was covered very well by the Bison. Unfortunately, they left uh, Anderson back there unchecked. So he was, a, a, 
I, that spin and move to get out of that tackle. Holy cow. And the Ravens have kind of found a weakness in the Bison right now. The Bison are not getting much of a pass rush. The Ravens' offensive line are holding up like a stone wall. And we have a flag on this one. False start. False start. Looks like it's going to go against the Bison, or excuse me, the Ravens. So False first start. and 10 will become first on and 15. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Bison defense will take the help. Backs him up to the Bison 48-yard line. First and 15 for Carter and his Ravens. Puts a man in motion. That's Kalen Pite. And in trouble, barely gets it away. Has his man and over the shoulder caught. Inside the 20-yard line, unbelievable catch by Jacoby Brightson. Jacoby and the Ravens the are inside the Four red zone. First down. So we can take another look at that catch. Once again, quarterback getting all kinds of protection all day to throw it. Not bad, not bad at all. Wow. 30 yard reception by Brightson to give him a new set of downs, get him inside the red zone. The Ravens threatening again. And Carter hands it off. Speedy little running back again, able to get out of some trouble. Anderson is just a hard guy to bring down. Looks like he got five out of that one. That'll be brings up second and five. Closer and closer to the 10 yard line. The Ravens are making it hard on this Bison defense. Carter. Oh, nice job by that Bison defense this time. Number 13, Rashawn, Bra uh, Rashawn Brown. Able to get in there and break that one up. That'll bring up a big uh, third down here Take for the another, Ravens. Take another look at that. Look at that. Deflecting coming in off the other end. Oh, that was beautifully done. Extremely so. So third and five now for the Ravens. The Bison defense They're just stepping up when they have to. I mean, it, yeah. you'd love to see this happen, obviously, earlier in the drive, but we'll take it when we can get it. Ravens really got that passing game working for them. I yeah, mean, they're opening it up. Not able to get in through the middle, work around the end. Anderson in the backfield with Carter. Carter with a man in motion, and the handoff goes to Anderson. Anderson's got room to move, and he's going to outrun a couple of tacklers, get past the first down marker. Needed five, got seven, also got the Ravens inside the ten. Running back Anderson for first down. First and goal for the Ravens. They're now set up on the Bison six yard line. This is a little deja vu, Kevin. We were just here about, uh, oh, four minutes of game time ago. Yeah. <laughs> now down uh, on into the last minute of the first quarter. Yeah, 40 seconds left to go. And we'll see if the Ravens can get a couple of plays off before the end of this quarter. Oh, false start by the Ravens. Back them up five. First and goal from the six will become first and goal from the 11. False start. Offense, five-yard penalty. Repeat it down. Again, Bison will take the help, they, any help they can get. Ten seconds left to go in this quarter. 
Carter with the snap with two seconds left in the clock. Hands it off to Anderson near side and boom! Oh. Down he goes at the 10. Holy cow! One yard gain on the play. The defense and Devonta Jones not having it. And that is the end of the quarter. Cap City Bison lead seven points to the Texan Ravens two. You heard it here as the, we come to the end of the first <laughs> quarter. The Bison seven, the Ravens two. Trying to get something going though. They'll be, after they get reset up on the south side of the field. Okay, they, we gotta see that hit again. Oh, please. All right, here we go. I love good defensive plays. Okay, so we're taking please back please to the beginning of the play. Hydrated. Feel free to visit our concession stand. It is to the right of the stand. The okay, water, everybody ready? Rain. Chips, hot dogs, nachos, candy. Might have taken that one. back a little too far, That's but. All right, we got time. <laughs> Nothing wrong with seeing how the, the bison sniffed this one out, especially exactly. Devonta Jones. Watch him come back from the safety position. Everybody playing up close on this Number one. Number two's your guy for this one. Wish we could do the old, you know, highlight that we have that uh, the big guys have, but look at this. Boom! Boom. And that was completely done because number 15, Demetrius Molez comes in with the, the uh, seal off block. He wasn't letting uh, Anderson cut back inside. That gave Jones the opportunity make to make that big hit. And that is, that is just, that's beautiful football right there. Yeah, it was. Are we second quarter's underway. Second and goal. Second and goal from the 10. All right. 15 minutes on the clock. New running back, and again, either Harold Monty or Corbin Mason in the backfield. This is the uh, this is the bruiser. Watched him carry half the defense or more than half the defense on his back for 11 yards earlier. And that's who exactly who they give it to, driving his legs forward, get down low on him, get him inside the 10. So it looks like he'll get a couple of yards on the play, right but that'll bring up third and goal. For two yards, third down and goal. So we're looking for the Bisons to do here is get another great goal line stop, but don't get themselves backed up, you know, into the end zone again. Third and goal from the nine yard line. As you know, the Ravens only need three safeties to take the lead. <laughs> so don't, don't, don't give them don't that opportunity. Those, yeah. The snap to Carter, fakes the handoff, quick throw, far side, caught on the end zone and that. Yep will take the Ravens ahead on the scoreboard. Again, number 21 on the roster. Very hard to read, so I apologize. Can't quite. Uh, A.J. Mitchell, who is replacing Jaden Barrett for tonight's game. So good job by A.J. Mitchell on that catch for the Ravens. And yeah, the Ravens are not actually going to need three safeties to take the catch lead. for the Ravens. So an eight-yard touchdown catch. Puts the Ravens at eight. They get Bison at seven with the extra point try coming up, and it actually looks like they may be going for two. So they're trying to make this a 10-7 ball game. And you know what it makes me curious is Carter's in trouble. Big guy is gonna flicker it forward. And Little it flea flicker. For and no. No. Incomplete, no good. The two-point conversion is no good. So only a one-point no lead for the Ravens over our bison Ravens right now. Great job by the seven. defense Make to just get in there and break up Ravens. that flea flicker right Make as the, the tackle was being right. made. And before he could, uh, whoever the intended target was, couldn't quite see who it was, but he just well, couldn't secure the pass before he got to the turf. I don't think it went to the intended target. I think, <laughs> I think that was just uh, trying to make the best of a busted play. But in any case... So 14-17 left on the clock here in the first half. And you combine that time with when they took over in the first quarter, they had the ball for a, just about six minutes on that scoring drive. And they did most of the, they, actually the damage was pretty 50-50, 30, 45 yards through the air and plus or minus 20 yards on the ground. So yeah. they were able to do a good job keeping the ball on, you know, doing 50-50 with uh, the defense and just keeping them off balance. So now it'll be if uh, 
Our Bison can answer back after they receive this kickoff. And, you know, the defense has been out there on two back-to-back -back drives. So, uh, you know, let's see if we can get some offense going and give those guys a rest. Yeah, absolutely. They they definitely need it. The, the good, sustained, methodical offensive drive is what we need right now. Temperature's still blazing out there. Ugh. Anybody who'll come out to play or watch on a day like today is a true lover of the game of football. you got to support that. Well, we got up to 102, and we're actually under 100 degrees right now. 97 is what it says, but I'm sure it's a lot hotter down on the field. And the play oh, the on the field is, is real hot. And the scoop by the Ravens on the fumbled kickoff return by the Bison will put the Ravens inside the 25-yard uh, 25 25-yard line. Excuse me. And number 35 for the Ravens just came through big. Don't have a 35 on our roster, but... He was able to scoop up that fumble by the Bison. And before that fumble, Dante Raven, Garner on the return was doing a Recovered really, really Bison. nice job. And then uh, just couldn't secure the ball, or uh, wasn't able to hold onto the ball. Yeah, you as, can uh, see where it comes out right there as he tumbles head over heels. And yeah, unfortunately. So the ball goes back to the Ravens and the Bison are fortunate that didn't turn into a scoop and score for the Ravens. That's very true. And that already tired Bison defense gets, uh, gets to come back out to the field. Yes, sir. You just took the words right out of my brain. Well, you can have them back. <laughs> I was thinking or the exact Ravens same thing. Football. Ravens are going to get set up on the Bison 23-yard line. First and 10. And this defense, who's already been on the field for six minutes, only got, uh, what, maybe about a 30, 45-second break before they had to go back out there from that kickoff. Yeah, hopefully enough time to get a good drink of water. And again, big guy's going to run with it for the Ravens. Number two, Monty or Mason. Run. Could just call him Eminem, and that way we don't have to worry about <laughs> it. Oh, first down. <laughs> <laughs> so first and 10 from the Bison 23 will now be first and 10 from the Bison 12. So an 11 yard gain on the ground. And again, the Ravens able to make a big catch close to the end zone and rumbles out of three tacklers to get in. Got a flag back at the line of scrimmage, though. Okay. So got a good feeling that's coming back. Well, it's going to be a holding call going against the, uh, the Ravens. Excuse me. So the Bison luck out on that one. Three defenders there on that wide receiver. He literally spun out of all three of them almost Touchdown individually back, back and was able to get into the end zone. So... This defense really needs to tighten things up for our Bison. But the holding call does negate the touchdown the catch. Repeat first down. And with 13-22 left to go here in the half, the Ravens are really turning on the uh, turn on the Jets here. And they opened a can of you-know-what here in this uh, first half. No, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> It's not a UIL broadcast. I think we can say whoop ass. Oh, that's true. <laughs> All the way back to the Bison 21 yard line. First and 20. Carter hands it off. Big man rumbling forward. Unfortunately, the turf monster grabs him. Monty or Mason hits the turf after a pretty good regain, though. And you can see where fatigue is setting in now with the front, uh, the, the front defensive Four line for the Bison. Play. Because, uh, you Running know, a couple drives ago, that play would go nowhere. Right. And now they're getting blown out in the gaps. Uh, let me see. Second and 15 now after that so five-yard wa run. Watch the offensive guards for the Ravens. 71 on the right side, 72 on the left side. If this is another running play up the middle, they'll be the ones to lead it. 
Oh, looks like they're showing pass though. Carter looking to throw. Good cause there and caught by Mueller. Mueller able to get out of a couple tackles inside the five. Flag on the far side of the field on the Ravens sideline. That'll either be holding or offsides. Clock stops at 12.26 on the for the penalty. Flag on the play. Offside. Oh, def oh decline because it was going decline. against the Bison. So the pass play is going to hold up and get inside the five, first and goal from the three for the Ravens. So that's going to be a 13-yard pass reception. Three yards to go. Nope, wait, they're calling it third and three. Oh, is it third and three? Yeah. Okay, I like that, even better. Third and three from the three, they can still get, or from the, uh, yeah, from the three, so they can still get a first down if they can get it. Past the two. The big man rumbles forward and gets the ball past the goal line and another touchdown for the Ravens. 14-7 your score, extra point try or two point Touchdown. conversion coming up. We'll see what they decide to do. Ravens running back, Harold Monte for six points. Show him some love, show him some love. So with 11.56 left to go here in the first half, the Ravens able to eat just about two and a half minutes off the clock on that drive. And it does look like they're gonna go for the two point conversion. Look at the wishbone, Kevin. Oh my God. I, uh, and right up the middle. Oh, they're they not gonna get it this time. Anderson couldn't get it past the goal line no up good. to the two. I hadn't seen a wishbone in. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. The Ravens lead the Bison. So the 14, score will remain the same. 14-7. Ravens over the Bison with 11.56 left to go here in the first half. Bison came out strong on defensively. We were able to uh, recover a fumble that uh, the Ravens gave up in that first offensive drive. Yeah. Able to score on that drive uh, after that fumble recovery. And after that, honestly, it's been it's kind of been the Ravens show ever since. Well, the Bison defense has been trapped on the field, though, for, uh, I mean, the latter half of the first quarter and, uh, you know, these first few minutes of the second. So the offense really, you, I, I mean, special, I mean, the, the last turnover was a special teams turnover, right? Uh, turnover the yeah, kickoff. Yeah. The it's, offense for our Bison has only been on the field for just over three minutes. Wow. Just over three minutes. And, uh, that, okay, that's 14-7 right yeah, there. absolutely. So, yeah, this has uh, been a tough offensive showing for our Bison just because, quite simply, they haven't had an opportunity to be on the field. Defense has been on the field for a very long time, as you can tell by those numbers, as we are, uh, you know, in the 12th or the 11th minute of the second quarter. Kickoff is a short one, and... Not one of the plays you really want to see the Bison do. That's an opportunity for extra yardage because of the illegal, uh, uh, what's it called when they kick the field goal or kick the ball out of bounds on the uh, uh, kickoff? Uh, kicking the ball out of bounds yeah, on the. Yeah, it's a penalty. But <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. My brain literally just <laughs> took a crap on me just now, and I can't remember what it's called. I say, I know, in the NFL, they make you come back and re-kick that, right? Or they give you, yeah, they give, or they or they give you the yardage. Give the yardage, depending on whether it's accepted or declined. But Bison will have the ball. Bison will have the ball on their own 29-yard line to start this drive. Harrison Company out on the field for only their third time, fourth time today. And a handoff right up the middle. Doesn't go for much is Alexis Slovenia. Looks like we'll get an opportunity to carry that ball here. Excuse me, that was not Slovenia. That was number 28, which I don't have on my roster. 
Looks like Williams on the back of the jersey. So we'll take that for now. So a very small gain on the field for the Rave or for the Bison, excuse me. We'll officially call it one yard, second and nine. And a quick pass play, scooped it off the turf before it was able to uh, go incomplete. The flag, flag coming in from the far side. I think they oh. call it a hold on the Bison. Right. Right. Extracurricular activity on the field. As of right now, we would be looking at about a six yard reception. But it looks like it's gonna be backed up and going against the Bison. Here comes the call from the head ref. So the foul penalty does go against the Bison. It'll be a 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. The foul happened Holding around the 36 yard, yard line penalty. or so. So now we're down. second and 17 if I'm reading it right. Yep, that's correct. Second and 17, backed up to their own 23-yard line. Harris with the snap, hands it off, and no, fakes it and has him intercepted at the 35 or 30-yard line and takes a slide down at the 10. The Ravens defense has come to play. to play. Number 16, DeAndre King with Number the 16, interception. DeAndre King with the Able interception. to get down to the 10 yard line. First Not sure why he chose even. to take the slide, but only 10 yards away from the end zone. I'm really surprised that he was not looking for pay dirt. Ten forty-one on the clock, so add another minute to the time the Bison have been on the field. That puts them up to just a little over four in this entire football game. Ten forty-one, first and ten. Actually, first and goal. For the Ravens at the ten-yard line. Oh. Three players went up for it that time. Looked like almost everybody got a tip, fingertip on it. Nobody comes down with it. So now we'll be looking at second and goal for the Ravens. Bison defensive unit. I'm, I would not be uh, surprised if we would be dipping into some of the offensive guys, especially in the trenches for a little bit of help here. Not sure how deep the uh, defense goes for our Bison, but they're getting tested here today, that's for sure. And these temperatures, these weather conditions, are gonna make it rough. They've been on the field a very long time. Carter with the man in motion, and gonna be a little pitch to the wide receiver. And jukes one man out of his shoes and gets inside the five. Number 23, again, not on the roster for the uh, Ravens. Nice little end around all the same for our, tight, our wide receiver sweep. Inside the five, up to the four. So six yards on the play. Third and goal, and the Ravens can't get in on that play. Brings up fourth and goal from the two. Make that fourth and goal from the three. And it is deja vu all over again. We've had a couple of those moments in this ball game. Fourth and goal, the Ravens with a seven point lead over our Bison right now are deciding to go for it again here. 
could just go for the three points. I question their kicking game, though. Yeah, maybe. They haven't, um, uh, we haven't seen anybody but the, the uh, kickoff guy so far. So Carter rolls out. He's in trouble. Able to get away. Has a man and caught in the end zone. The Ravens extend the lead off the hands of Mueller in the end zone. 20 to 7 now with 9.13 left to go here in the first half. Fourth down play results in a touchdown for touchdown the Ravens. Touchdown Ravens. Okay. I was just trying to roll that play back but because I wanted to point out one thing. Uh, on the positive side of that play is that that is really the first time in this Brinson game on the reception. that the Bison have gotten a really excellent pass rush. So, yeah, okay, they gave up another touchdown, but I just wanted to point out the positive there. So the final, actually, it looks like we're going to have a, a two-point try here. And big man number 22 rumbling forward gets taken down inside the one-yard line. No good. Don't have a 22 on the roster either for the Ravens. So and another two-point conversion fails for the Ravens. And the Ravens don't have 22 on the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, they don't have 22 on the scoreboard either. Ravens yeah, I'm with you, Kevin. I'm beginning to wonder if they have any kind of kicking game at all. Oh, the last kickoff looked, uh, I mean, it looked a little Texas wobbly. <laughs> and you also commented that it was a pretty short one. So. Oh, yeah, they've all been short kickoffs. So. And, you know, that's fine if you can consistently convert the two points. Right. But if not, then, I mean, how many times have we seen one extra point be the difference in a game at the end of the game? Well, here for lately for the uh, the Bison, you know, it's it's been four points here, five yeah. points there. It's a, it was a 15-point game against the Austin Vipers, and that's the white biggest spread they've had in the last four or five weeks. So, well, and the Bison offense will get one more chance here. 9:13 left to go here in the first half. This is actually this would be the perfect scenario for me right now. Uh huh. Eat up the whole nine minutes. I'm not even kidding. Eat up this entire second quarter, go into halftime, get some points on the board, right. but don't let Number the Ravens' offense back on the field Flores. right now. This defense needs Ravens. to rest. If there's a way to eat up five to seven minutes off this clock at least, our Bison's got uh, – the offense really needs to do it here on this drive. Right, we're pretty close to the sideline in this venue. Maybe they'll hear you. Back to the <laughs> number 41, Eric Love. Love back deep to receive, standing back at around the 16-yard line. Kickoff is short, recovered at the 18, up to the 30, 35, 40 sideline, and shoved out of bounds at around the 46 yard line or so. Looks like one of the coaches Number got six, caught up in that Perry also on the sideline for the Bison. Jamari Perry football. on the return. Mary Perry also, unfortunately, the returner who gave up the fumble earlier, but does a very good job of redeeming himself right there. From the 18 to the 49-yard line, that is a really good kickoff return. Just about, what is that, 41 yards? I think you're right. First and 10 for Harrison Company, Love in the backfield. Didn't see him in the backfield at all the last offensive drive. Of course, he didn't, uh, wasn't on the field very long. See if they can turn that around here. Harris throwing that interception on the last offensive drive. It almost resulted in a pick six. He's gonna come out throwing first play from scrimmage on this drive and makes the connection at the 53 yard line. Number eight on the on the catch, Dante Gardner. Good job Pass by him. Eight. Number eight, Dante Gardner. Second down. Second and six for our Bison. Now at the Raven 46 yard line. 
The snap back to Harris, he's in trouble, dumps it off to Love. Love trying to get some room, stretching it out east and west, slides out of bounds. Looks like he got to the 46 yard line, so gonna get right back to the line of scrimmage. Good job by Love turning on the Jets. He was almost caught in the backfield again, or not the backfield, but for a loss. No gain on the play, third down. Third and six for our Bison from the Ravens' 46-yard uh, line. 7.31 on the clock, it stopped when Love ran out of bounds. Four wide for Harris. Harris looking downfield again, steps up, throws far side. Garner with the catch, past the first down marker, still on his feet. Down at the 31 yard line. Beautiful catch. Big man can move. First down for the Bison at the Raven 31. It's going to be a 15 yard reception for Garner. Pass called by Garner for Bison first down. Next week, looks like we have a timeout on the field. Yeah. Didn't see who the type, who called it, unfortunately. It is only the second timeout of the game, actually. Oh, clock is being wound, no timeout at all. Okay. I think they were. I just saw people kneeling, yep. taking water breaks, and. All right, it's first and 10. Six and a half minutes left to go here in the first half. to the 15-yard reception. It's first and 10 for the Bison. The end around for Jamari Perry past the 30 and up to around the 27-yard line. So it won't be a ton of yards, but it'll keep them moving forward, and it'll stop the clock. Actually, no, the clock is running. So you talked about burning the entire nine minutes. Yeah, hey, as long, if you we're, get in the end zone, that's I'll, I'll take that too. Well, we're almost four minutes into that now. Yeah. Well, three, but. So second. Second and six here for the Bison, the snap to Harris. Harris looking to throw, has a man in the middle of the field, and Garner again. Inside the 15 yard line, down at around the 12. They have found a target here in this offensive drive. Garner doing a fantastic job and Harris and Garner are on the same page. Pass called by Gardner. Well, fight the first down. Clock stops, we have a timeout on the field by the Ravens, and the Bison trucking down the field. Got the Ravens thinking about things, I guess. The offense won't be upset, and I'm sure the defense won't be upset by the timeout either. That means they get a little bit of a longer rest as well. Let's take a look at that last pass play real quick. I wanted to, I wanted to just see, because they seem to have figured out, the Bison seem to have figured out something about the Ravens secondary. See, so watch, here's the snap. And there is nobody over there. Garner just right there, wide open, beautiful catch. Now there's the man that was supposed to be covering him right there, yeah. who did finally come up and make the tackle. But I, I don't know, man. You, you're more the football expert than me, oh, but no, uh, seems like a, <laughs> just seems like a little bit of a breakdown in the uh, in the Ravens the, secondary. The secondary definitely coverage broke down, missed a man somewhere, and uh, clearly Bison were able to take advantage of it. So. I will say the pass that Garner caught before that last one was dangerously close from being a pick six, as you it saw. Was. Yeah, I'm sure everybody saw on that because Garner able to get a couple of yards past the first down marker, but 
there was a defender for the Ravens that almost stepped right in front of the ball at the perfect time, and he could have gone side, sideways real quick, but as it turns out, things are going just fine for Bison as they're inside the 15 with 5.06 left to go here in the first half. Trying to tick away a little bit this lead that the Ravens have gained on us. Hand off to Love up the middle, gets to the, about the nine yard line. So it'll be about four yard gain for Love, making it second and six. Four yard run on the play, second down. Second and six for the Bison. If they can get to the two, they'll get a new set of downs. Harris looking to throw again, steps up in the pocket. He's in trouble, dumps it off, and almost throws an interception at the one-yard line. Not sure what he saw, but dangerous throw there by Harris that almost turned this uh, offensive drive around real quick. Yeah, it didn't look like he really had a target there at all. And he was advanced past the line of scrimmage. There was no worrying about taking a sack. It just seems to me that maybe you just hang on to the ball and take your licks and get up for the next play. Third and six now for the Bison. Harris will have an empty backfield. Watch Love in the slot position far side. I keep my eyes on Garner in the same position near side. Here's the snap. Harris has time. Has his, oh my oh. goodness, in and out of the hands of number 18. Carl Stewart gets his number called, and then he unfortunately can't come up with the ball. Incomplete pass in the end zone. That brings up fourth down. Fourth and six now for the Bison. Do they go for the three points? Do they go keep it, uh, keep it on the field? And it looks like that Spalding is out on the field. He is going to go for the field goal. This will be an attempt to make this a 10-point ball game. This will be about a 26-yard attempt for Spalding. The kick is up, and through the uprights, it is good. Spalding gets three on the board, making it a 20-10 ball game. Ravens still on top, but I'm really, really happy about how much time we had off the clock. Yeah. I'm glad we got some points on the board. And our defense, more importantly, got the rest they needed. Automatic and the offense is making three. things happen again. Exactly, exactly. It really was a decent drive. It would have been nice to see the six points on the board from a touchdown. Right. But to see us go from our own 49, eat up five minutes off the clock, Ravens and get some points on the board, that was very important for this ball club. They really needed to feel that momentum. They really, really did. More importantly, the offense, I think, more than anything, needed to feel that. Exactly five minutes off the clock for the Bison on that one. Started this drive at 9-13, 4-13 left. But as far as total time, the Ravens have monopolized it on offensively and here in this first half. We'll go over the numbers and everything at halftime, talk about uh, what the Bison need to do to come back and get this victory. And then we'll take a little break and let you guys enjoy the sounds and sights of the game. I'm sure the... I don't know if they're called the Bisonettes or whatever they're called, the dance team. <laughs> They'll have something going on. They usually do every game, so we'll make sure to bring that to you as well. The kickoff to the Ravens into the end zone and out of the back. A flag comes in. We do have a touchback. Not sure what the flag was for. Flag on the play. Nope, waving the flag off. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I was like, why? Well, I'm not sure what the flag was for. But. No flag on the play. <laughs> First down, <laughs> Ravens football. So uh, this drive will start from the Ravens' 25-yard line. First and 10.
So I somehow wrote out the script almost perfectly for the offense. Yes. Let's see if I can do it here for the defense. Turnover Tell here me. in the first series, we get the ball back. Okay. I like it. Handoff near side. That's going to be big number two. Again, either Monty or Mason, but either way, he's a handful to bring down. And in case you can't, that was the uh, that item out there is the uh, towel that fell yeah, out of his belt. Back, Monty. Not a uh, flag. We do have an injured Third Bison defender down there. on the turf as well. Looks like number we have 21. An Looks like Ken Blue is down on the turf. They're going to help him off. Not sure exactly. Uh, well, actually, I can tell exactly what his element is. We won't discuss it even if this, if this isn't a UIL broadcast. We just say he should have worn a cup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 3.53 left to go for poor guy. I'm sorry, Ali. Uh, 3.47 left to go here in the first half, I should say. 20 to 10, your score. Ravens on top. Second and three after that last play. Seven yards on the ground. And this one goes nowhere. Actually, it's still on the ground and moving forward. I think he's going to get called for a bit of a loss. Monty Mason, whichever one it is, rumbles ahead for about a yard. Okay. Strong run by Mason Mason. Third and two. For one yard. That brings a third down and two. So... Third down here for the Ravens. Big down here for this Bison defense. Of course, we've seen that the Ravens don't punt and they don't kick field goals or extra points, so they'll be going for it here on fourth down, I'm sure. What's well, third? Well, I know. I'm just saying if it oh, gets when, passes when it's, in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming our defense is going to do exactly what they need to do here and stop this offense and going for the pass play near side. Caught at the 44-yard line on the tiptoe catch. Number 22, our 21, A.J. Mitchell on the, on the uh, reception. Okay. First and 10 now for the Ravens, all the way up to the Bison 44. I apologize, everybody. I think the uh, replay system might be a little fried by the heat. Keep calling up the wrong highlights. Although probably what it is is the operator. So fried by, <laughs> he's a little fried by the heat. That's probably more. 10-yard reception sets up the first and goal, or first and 10, I should say, for the Ravens as they look deep downfield. And a flag There's comes up. in late. Two defenders on that one for our Bison. Number one, Driver, and number flag two, Jones. And one of them is going to get defensive pass interference called against them. And that's going to move it all the way up to the spot of the foul. And that is going to be a big, big defensive penalty that going against our Bison. See if we can get a look at that again and see. Maybe we can see who the uh, culprit was. A little hard to tell at this distance. But, yeah, you can see a definite yeah. push off there. Two minutes on the clock as we have come to the two minute warning. Also gonna have a first and goal for the Ravens after that big, or first and 10 I should say, for the Ravens after that big defensive pass interference penalty going against our Bison. Here comes the call. Defensive pass and a fair. So an automatic first down. We're going to oh. spot them at the 21 yard. Or excuse me, I see it. I see it. They're I'm just outside the red zone. So 
So a little confusion on the field on right now, I think, trying to figure out where the ball needs to be. Right now they have the ball set up on the 29-yard line. After the play, dead ball personal foul against the Bison. After the whistle, personal foul on the offense. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense. So we will have a first down. Just don't know where yet. <laughs> it looks we like it's gonna be all the way back here at the 44 yard. Offensive after the foul, after the whistle, the personal foul. 15 yard penalty, repeat the down. There you go. That will make it first down and a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> you need to bike him up. <laughs> we got an extra microphone if you want. <laughs> first down and a miracle. I like it. Yeah, chain gang's a little confused. The first down marker's where it needs to be, but the chain gang itself needs to truck on down the line. So it's this technic okay, hang on. So it's gonna be first in All right, so Austin. For those of you are Burn round confused, off, first in Austin. We had a great play that ended with an offensive penalty. Unnecessary roughness, unsportsmanlike mm. conduct, which backed the ball up and added an additional 15 yards to the start of the play on the first down. First down, Raven. So if I'm counting it right out there, it's first and 26. Does that sound right? Mm, no, sir. First and 15. Oh, look, see? The first down marker is at the, is at the 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Which I, I maybe the 19. Yeah, it's actually at the 19, so. So first and 26. Yeah, first and 26. Or they have 20, we have 25 on the scoreboard. I'll go with that. First and 25 for the Ravens. Let's not forget to stay hydrated, folks. Uh, don't forget water, Gatorade, your favorite beverage is available at the refreshment stand. Not the little goody sweet thing. So after a very long time out to get the ball situated, we now have a penalty before we can even get the next play started. 159 ticks, ball start. On the play. Ball One whole second ticks off the, the clock. Offense. So first and 25 Five will become penalty. first and 30 for the uh, Ravens now. Wow. So the Ravens have completely fallen apart here in this drive and late in this uh, first half. A little tired, a little sloppy. Hot. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. They, it's uh, As you can tell by the camera, the sun is trying to go down here finally. It's about 8.20 here. Sunset is supposed to be at 8.33. Yeah, we've, uh, we've pretty much lost all the shadows now. Carter throws the bullet. Can't find a re receiver, though. That'll bring up Thank second and 30 for the Ravens. Second down, 30. All right, so in that direction, I think uh, maybe Mopac would be uh, <laughs> the biggest geographic yeah. feature. Second and 30 for the Ravens. But defense looking pretty good for the Bison, obviously with a lot of help penalty wise. But we'll take what we can get. Minute 56 left to go here in this first half. Carter rolls out, steps up, dumps it off to his running back, one of the M's, 
And he rumbles forward all the way up to the 30, make that the 41 yard line. I mean, it's still a dog on near impossible distance. So they're just gonna spot him at the 41. Third down, 21. 21, third and 21. So he's able to get nine on the ground. Technically, I was through the air, but. Technically. Technically. Carter looking for the snap, four wide. Steps up, finally dumps it off the fingertips of ah. his running back, unable to make the connection. The Bison defense unable to snag that one out of the air. Just a couple of steps away from an interception off the tip. Four down, 21. So big fourth down play here as we know that the Ravens will not be punting it. One of those moments where the Bison defense just needs to keep everything in front of them. Don't let uh, don't let a crazy play get the better of them. And with 56 seconds, if you can get the turnover here, you still got time to put a few couple more points on the uh, on the scoreboard. Here's the snap to Carter. He is looking to throw. Steps up, big throw, middle of the field. He has a man and caught oh. in the end zone. Mueller comes up big on a huge fourth down play. The Ravens have scored again on fourth and 21 all through the Marcus air. Carter with his second touchdown pass of the day. Unbelievable catch and throw yeah, by the Ravens. Get that queued up because it may have been the other team, but that was a heck of a play. We need to see that again. 41-yard touchdown pass. 41 yards on the play. Down to 56 seconds here in this first half. They took over with 413. And the Ravens capitalize again. And now keeping that offense on the field for the two-point conversion. Looking to throw, batted down and almost intercepted off a couple of offensive uh, linemen's heads as the well. Two-point conversion is no good. Two-point conversion, no good. 26-10, the score will Ravens remain. And the uh, Bison, Bison will still have an opportunity to, to do something with the ball here as we wind round, down in the final minute of this Texas football or this first football. half. In the meantime, let's take another look at that pass play because that was just – Unbelievable that, catch by Stewart. I just I have to give it to him, man. That was just a – or Mueller, excuse me. Mueller is completely focused on that ball. He's looking at nothing else, not the defender, not the sideline, not the scoreboard, definitely not us. He's focused on <laughs> nothing but <laughs> yeah. that ball, and he's got a heck of a victory dance to go along with it. Sean Miller doing a fantastic job for the Ravens, extending that lead out on a huge fourth down play. What was that dance? Is, is that the? I didn't. Was that a, was that a floss or? Uh, a, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the lights are on here at McNeil Maverick Stadium. So number eight has the ball teed up for the Ravens. This is Jacoby Brightson. Jacoby Brightson on the kick for the Ravens. Love and company Eric back at the 20-yard line or so to return this one. Line drive kickoff return from the 25-yard line up to the 40. First contact, drug down inside the 45. So nice return there by the Bison. Off the legs of number 16, Emmanuel Davis. Emmanuel Davis on the return. First down, Bison football.
official timeout now. Not sure what it's uh, what it's about. So first and ten from the 48 yard line for the Bison. So I think he's signaling third and seven. No, 47 Four, seconds. 47 seconds. Yeah. Oh. I was wondering why I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> there we go. All right. Official staff getting a <laughs> get a little extra workout in. So with 47 seconds left in this first half, Harris with an empty backfield. I'm going to keep my eyes on Gardner again because he's been his target of choice in this football game. Harris in trouble. Gets out of it with a nice high step again. Needs to just get out of bounds and does so around the – got to look good. Maybe a yard on that one. So one yard by Harris on the ground. Also stops the clock. Second and nine for the Bison. Just about 10 seconds off the clock on that one. Harris doing a good job staying elusive. Ravens defense, unlike ours, has had lots and lots of rest, so they're pretty fresh out there. Empty backfield again for Harris. Hang on, we lost the feed. lost the camera feed. There it is. And a big catch far side, just a one yard shot, the first down, but the backwards progression unfortunately will not be quite as close to the first down marker. But a beautiful catch all the same. Number 16, Emmanuel Davis again on the reception. Which is going to bring up third and third and two, two. third and one, third, third and one. one. Yeah, so eight yards through the air sets up the third and one for the Bison. Twenty-six seconds on the clock with the timeout. Again, didn't catch who called the timeout. Apologize for that, folks. Well, at twenty-six seconds left to play and. <laughs> Been an interesting ball game so far. The uh, Bison struggling a little bit defensively, haven't been able to get the rest they needed to stay fresh just because, yeah. you know, unfortunately offensive uh, turnovers, special teams turnovers. So uh, they've given up, uh, what, two fumbles so far in the game? Uh, one fumble, one, one fumble, interception. One interception, thank you. Yep. Or actually technically two fumbles on the, yeah, kickoff. So, so. Can you put a little bit of responsibility on the special teams play oh, for this 16-point uh, deficit? Oh, you have to. I mean, unfortunately, uh, Perry gave up that fumble that set up that, ten, you know, uh, uh, what was that, like a 26-yard field for the by, uh, for the Ravens. So yep. that resulted in points. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we also got caught in our own end zone on our second or first offensive drive for the safety. So it kind of – you just kind of see that I think the heat – has definitely played a factor here today and the ability, oh man, big sack Ow. for the Ravens. That'll be a loss of about three or four for this offense and setting up a big fourth down. 19 seconds left to go here in the game. Ravens defense not letting up at all with just seconds left to go here in the first half and a 16 point lead. Well, on fourth and five with 16 seconds left, or I get 19, 19, yeah. 19 seconds left to play. You may as well just air it out. So a timeout on the field. And I believe that was a Bison timeout. Yeah, I believe it was as well. I don't expect to see the special teams unit out there at all. Harris will probably stay out there, see what he can do. Yeah, fling it, man. 
That's what yeah, I say. I would. I mean, that's I, the Ravens did it on their fourth down, and and, and look what happened. A mile and ended up with six points on the board. So yeah. And if you told me that was about to happen, I, I told you you were crazy. Never would in the world would have been able. I, it blew my mind when they made that play. So timeout has come to an end. Empty backfield again for Harris. Fourth and six. Fourth and five, excuse me, for the Bison. Harris has been in trouble every play on this drive. Rolls out, steps up, chunks it deep, and that one is going to safely hit the turf. But almost picked off. <laughs> two black jerseys were there and uh, could have easily had themselves a interception. Clock stops at 10 seconds. And the Ravens will get uh, maybe uh, one, maybe two plays out of it, or I, will they just go ahead and let the clock run out to halftime? I, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they just came out, take a knee, and let's go to halftime. Yeah. So a turnover on downs. Down to 10 seconds on the clock. So we had the ball for 46 of those seconds. Ravens will be on their own 47 yard line. And it does look like they're going to take a knee. And there it is. Number eight was under center. That was Jacoby Brightson. And he takes the knee. That'll click the ball down to zero. And we will go to halftime. The Ravens leading this one 26 10 over the Bison. And they've done a lot of it uh, from turnovers. Ugh. Really good game so far. Been of, uh, a lot of fun to call. We'll take a little bit of a break as I'm sure the Bison dance team will have a. A show to put on for us, and then we'll come back with uh, what the Bison need to do to come back from this 16-point uh, deficit. Until the dance team comes out, and please enjoy this wonderful view of the water tank and the cellular <laughs> and the cellular tower. <laughs> <laughs> and there they are. All right, so we're going to turn off our mics and stand, step aside for a few minutes, and uh, we'll be right back to set up the second half in just Ladies a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If I can get your attention to the 50 yard line, I'd like to introduce our Cap City Bison cheerleaders. Let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. Come on, folks, make some noise. It's a hot day, and they're about to give you a show for the ages.
as we get ready for the second half of this Texas playoff football match. Don't forget to hydrate, folks. Plenty of water, Gatorade. Your favorite sodas down there. Not to mention the nachos, though, today, folks, from the body. Watch sure if there's extra salt on the chips or what. m and &M peanuts go really well. Had a couple of those, but by the time I got to the end of the bag, they were sweating. So I advise you go ahead and get your candy in. Kids is running around. We want to go ahead and make sure we keep them off the field. Keep our kids safe. And if you haven't found yourself a youth football or youth sports organization, you can always reach out to your local youth organization here. I'm with the Gerald Cougars Elite. You can always reach out to me. But I recommend the hot dog. Something about that hot dog wrapped in foil with the ketchup packet. Mm, winning. All right, everybody, welcome back for the second half here at McNeil Maverick Stadium where the Texas Ravens lead your Capital City Bison by a score of 26-10 here in this first round BSFL playoff game for 2022. All right, Chance, so what do we say? What do we say the keys to uh, comeback and victory are for the Bison in the second half? Keep our offense on the field we'll have yeah. as long as we possibly can. And just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, we have 41 yards through the air and 25 yards on the ground in that first half. That's it. That's it. We don't even have 100 total yards of offense because we have not been able to keep our guys on the field. Defense is exhausted. So hopefully this halftime, even though it's not the greatest conditions, they've got to be able to rehydrate, get a little bit of rest, hopefully a snack or two. They need to need a break. They really do, desperately. This offense really started coming together there in the, in the, the late part of the second half. Right. Able to get some more points on the board, able to eat a whole lot of time off the clock. We need to be able to build off of that. Hopefully, this second half will be a completely different ball game. 0-0, zero, zero, let's see what happens. All right, so here we are under the lights where Texas football is best played, always under the lights. 
On the opposite side of that, just to give you some oh, yeah. uh, different numbers, the Ravens on the ground, 111 yards, 5.3 yards per carry. Through the air, 120 yards with 9.2 yards per catch. Oh, wow, man. I mean, a team that you, you, you usually have those kind of numbers. You usually come out on top. But yeah, yeah, t definitely. Yeah, let there be light. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're good. So we are getting set to go here for the second half. The second half, like you said, like I said, Kevin, offense needs to be on the field. Luckily, they're going to get that opportunity since we'll be receiving to start the second half. But uh, if you know, if we can monopolize as much of the clock as we can on this opening drive, I think it will show our defense. Because right now, our defense really needs to see something from our offense. They got right. a little taste of what could they could what they're capable of there in the last part of the first half. But if the defense needs, a, like I said, they need a break. And this is where the defense needs to see where their offense is coming, coming together for them. I mean, we saw some great things. We saw Harris starting to uh, pick apart the defense, oh, yeah. pick apart the secondary a little bit. Uh, you know, we saw Love get some good runs in the first half. But, uh, yeah, you, you can't uh, – what else are you going to say if your offense can't stay on the field? Yeah. You, you don't have a lot of highlights to and, talk about. Right, and there's clearly some good chemistry three, between four, Harris and uh, uh, Garner. So whatever three, chemistry three, they have, they need to kind of build on. But at the same time, you want to use that as a chess piece, make that connection that you have with Harris and Garner to bring that defense, maybe double team up on Garner a little bit, opens up a couple of more wide receivers for some shots. That's, uh, you, I mean, hopefully the offensive coordinator, coordinator is uh, seeing some stuff like this and making those adjustments. Yeah. When I buy the Denver Broncos, I'm making you my OC. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Why did uh, I say Denver Broncos? I don't, I don't know. know but I actually <laughs> like Denver a lot, so it would be fine with me if you got the Denver Broncos. So. The kickoff to the Bison to start this third quarter is underway, and it is a big kickoff return up to the 45. Finally gets taken down, but not until he gets into Raven territory. Beautiful return by Emmanuel Davis to start off this third quarter. Big return on the play by Emmanuel Davis. Out to the 47-yard line. First and 10, Bison football. Well, that's a good way to start off. That's exactly how you want this team to start out the second half. All the way up to the Ravens 46. First and 10 for the Bison. Let's see what they do. Can we just turn off that? We're getting too much reflection off that glass. Just that one? No, unfortunately, I don't think so. And a big play for the Bison from first play from scrimmage results in a huge first down. Jamari Perry gets him inside the 25-yard line. And this halftime adjustments by this Bison offense has been tremendous so far. Camera's out again. There we go. Harris back to pass and has his man caught at the 17. Rolls out of one tackler. It takes four more black jerseys to get the job done. And down at the 10. Beautiful, beautiful job by number 18, Carl Stewart on the catch. Another first, or a new set of downs, I should say, for the Bison. Two plays from scrimmage have resulted in two beautiful first downs. Harris set up on his own 13, or the Ravens 13, fakes the handoff to Love, steps up in the pocket, lets it go near side, caught at the corner, touchdown Bison, as they have answered back beautifully here in this third quarter, 13-20 left to go. And six points are on the board. Great catch by number 18, Carl Stewart, but more importantly, great footwork, keeping his feet inside the goal or inside the end zone. Beautiful job by this offensive unit to get some points on the board. The 
The extra point try is up and good for the Bison. Make that a 26-17 game. All done in just yeah, over a good. minute and a half. The Bison come out rolling. The Ravens will get the kickoff right after this. This is going to be a fantastic second <laughs> half. I was all ready for a commercial break. Sorry, you can tell. I no, know that's okay. Doing. Man, oh, man. Sorry, I missed that. I was helping, uh, yeah. helping Zach with a uh, little issue with the camera there. I'm, I totally missed that play. I'll just have to take your word for it. Well, you did an amazing yeah, radio call. Well, field. thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. A 46-yard touchdown drive by the Bison. Ticks away a little bit at that lead. Now only a nine-point lead. There is an injured Raven down on the six-yard line after that extra point try. Wasn't able to get a number off of the, the, the uh, young man. Hopefully he'll be all right. He'll be able to get, make it back out onto the field. Regardless of which team they play for, we don't want anybody to get hurt out here. And you can tell by the applause. Andrew Graven up on his feet, able to walk off on his own power, which is really good to see. Still unable to see who it is. Yeah, I can't really read that dark yeah. number now. Yeah, it's getting a little harder to, those dark purple numbers on a black jersey when the sun goes down, makes it a little difficult. Uh, looks like 44. No. Uh, doesn't matter at this, 94. And it looks like he's up and moving around just fine, so good yep. to go. Oh, number four. That's interesting. I was actually having a conversation with him on the way back from. Oh, 94. Uh, oh, 94. 94. Oh, okay, my apologies. I thought it was number four. Okay. Kickoff for the uh, Bison underway. Spalding puts a big foot into this one. It is going to be returnable from the two-yard line. Up to the 15, first contact at the 20 and taken down inside the 25 yard line. Decent return there for the Ravens. Is number 15, Kaitlin Piter brings it from the two yard line all the way up to the 24. Number 15, Kaitlin Piter on return. First and 10 for the Ravens, and this play will be blown dead before it can even get started. False start against the Ravens, so first and 10 will become first and 15. Flag on the play. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat first down. Stick with us, folks. We'll get the camera back up and running for you as soon as we can. Meanwhile, I'll do my best radio announcing. As, uh, it's been a while since I've had to do it. Carter and company, four, three wide, one man in the backfield. Carter hands it off right up the middle. Imme immediately at the line of scrimmage, two purple jerseys come in on the tackle for the Bison. Going nowhere. First and 15 will become second and 15. Fantastic job by the Bison on that one. The running back for the Ravens, number seven, Anderson, just couldn't get it, uh, the steam going that he had in the first half. Second and 15 now for the Ravens. Carter with the handoff. Anderson far side has blockers taken down at the knees at the 15 yard line. Beautiful tackle by the Bison. Big tackle on the play. Loss of three yards. 
Number 23 on the tackle, that was Number Rondo tackle. Middleton. Rondo Mr. Middleton Murphy. just came in and just blew that play up for a loss. They're gonna officially spot him at the 17. But Anderson, who was so dangerous and elusive in that first half, has suddenly found himself stuck in the purgatory that is the backfield because he has not penetrated the line of scrimmage since he's taken over running back duties in this this drive. I could have told I, I would have told you this press box was purgatory. But. <laughs> Carter in trouble as he releases this one off the fingertips of his intended target and blown up as well as number 17. Kadarian Booker comes in with a D cleater. Number 22, the intended target for the Ravens. There Again, we go. no number 22 on my roster for the Ravens. A flag does come in. We'll have to see if it's going to be called a targeting call. The injured player on the play. Looks like we've got the camera stabilized now. Good work, Zach. So an incomplete pass right now sets up third and 15. Third and 17, excuse me. Because on second and 15, they got blown up for negative two in the backfield. Anderson just got blown up. And we're third and, third and 17. Yeah, that play. <laughs> we do have a flag. We'll see if it's going to be the targeting call. If it's targeting call, Booker could be out for the, uh, the rest of the game as well. Oh, this is usually where I'd wind back to look at that, but unfortunately, no, yeah, we're unfortunately not going we to we have that this time. But the Ref is going over to talk to the head coach for the Ravens. So we're not sure exactly what the call is going to be here. Honestly, I saw the after the fact hit, didn't see the actual contact that Booker the flag placed. On the so it looks like we will have a first down, Not obviously. Like Honda targeting. No, no oh. targeting. The 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So can, can we get the camera on the play, please? Thank you. So first and 10 for the Ravens at the 32-yard line. After the penalty. And another run play up the middle. Again, going nowhere for Anderson. Maybe a yard on that play. Second and two officially eight. So two. Okay, Same let me get this set. There we go. Uh, finally got things all caught up. Second and eight now for the Ravens after the two yard run from Anderson. Carter with the snap, bent trouble, gets rid of it quickly, trying to find his running back as his release valve, but unfortunately couldn't make the connection. The Bison defense looking really strong here in this series. Brings up a third and long for the Ravens. for the Ravens, four wide, band of the backfield is Anderson, and a shot, slink far off. side. It's gonna be a 50-50 ball. It'll be caught by the wide receiver. Uh. Looks like he's gonna be about two yards shy of the first down marker, though. Pass complete. We'll see where they officially spot him. Roll, oh, it's gonna be really, really close. He needed to get down. to the 42. And four yards. 
They're actually going to spot him at the 39. So fourth and three. Fourth actually, nope, they're bringing two. Yep, they're bringing it fourth in a little two. closer. They, they moved the stick at the last minute. And it looks like timeout Bison. Timeout Bison. So this has been an awkward uh, offensive drive for the Ravens. They haven't actually done too much uh, with the exception of getting some uh, some penalties going their way. But uh, for the most part, they've been they've been struggling in this offensive uh, offensive drive. And I'm trying to find that 50-50 catch, but yeah, that's that one. Uh, if it's 50-50, it's going to go to the wide receiver every time. But it sure did look close. Let's see. I think I've got it. Carter releasing it. Yeah, oh and it's hard to, yeah, goodness. the camera yeah. was in motion at the same time, so it's a little bit blurry, so it's hard to tell. But, uh, yeah, like you said, Ty goes to the runner. You can see why they did spot it at the 39 with that replay also. So it was a good spot by the officiating staff. Yeah. Coaches want, uh, the head coaches for the Ravens thought he made it past the first down marker, but after seeing that replay, clearly not. 9.56 left to go here in the third quarter. 26-17 your score after the, Bison come out on the opening kickoff, or not the opening Fourth kickoff, down. but the opening offensive possession in, in about a minute and a half, put seven on the board, showing that they've got some life left in them and showing their defense that they're here to play for them as well. Uh, fourth down stop right here would be really Huge. good. Huge. You're going to have a flag on this one. No, no whistle. Finally a whistle blows this one. We do have going to be it's going to be interesting to see how the officiating staff calls this one because I saw movement on both sides of the line. It looks like they are going to call it against the Ravens, though. Well, again, I uh, saw one official point in that direction anyway. We'll get the official official call. Nice break for the Bison on that. False start going against the False Ravens. Start. Back them up oh, no, five. Offense. Fourth and one will become fourth penalty. and six after the penalty. Make the fourth down and seven. For seven. Okay. So you know the Ravens, oh, the Ravens are going to send out a punting unit for the first time tonight, all the way back at the 24-yard line. We have a punter set up. Not sure who it is, missed the number. We'll get that for you as soon as we can get it. I'd watch the fake here. They haven't punted all night long. I Why know. Why would they do it now? There's the snap. They are actually going to punt it. It is a decent punt as well. High end over end. Takes it to go out of bounds somewhere around the 30, inside the 35-yard line. Spotted at the 32, so some pretty good field position to start this drive off for the Bison, but actually just a really decent punt as well for the Ravens. Well, you have to, and, and you know, the Bison really need to thank their lucky stars for that uh, Ravens penalty on fourth and two. Yeah. I mean, because if they run the play on fourth and two, I mean, there's a strong possibility they're going to get that. But the penalty takes them back far enough that they're forced to punt, which is just the lucky break the Bisons need to get the offense, offense back on the field. Now, that said, I want to compliment the defense for fighting, their, fighting them down to fourth and two. Absolutely. 9.47 on the clock, first and 10 for our Bison. First and 10, Set Bison Set up football. on their own 30-yard line. About three and a half minutes ticked off the clock by the Ravens on that last offensive drive. A lot of it, though, by penalties. Really nothing to net for on the ground or through the air. Harris steps back, chunks it far side, caught at the 35-yard line, excuse me, and up to the 37. Can't quite see. I think First that's... First down pass complete for seven yards. I believe that's Carl Stewart on the reception. C 
Six yard reception, Harris back in trouble, dumps it off last minute, beautifully done, passes the 40, 45 almost to the 50. Defensive set, uh, hit comes in at the end of it, stops the Bison at around the 49 yard line. Still enough, more than enough for a first down. First down pass. Call by Jarrell Crittenden for a Bison first down. Citradon in the backfield getting his job, uh, number called in running back duty. Harris in trouble oh, and unfortunately ow. goes down. His Back feet got play. caught up a little bit underneath him as well as getting touched up. Number 25, Robert said, or excuse me, I don't well, have a 25 on, on uh, the roster for the Ravens, but 25 busts through and gets to the feet of Harris, which unfortunately made the stumble happen. He'll still get credited with the sack, and now we have a huge second down here. Second and 20. Love still out on the field, but in a wide receiver position. Citrodon will stay in the backfield as the running back. Harris with the snap. Pressure rolls out far side. Finally gets rid of it and caught. Just past the original line of scrimmage at the 49 yard line. So that'll eat up the yards from the sack plus one. Harris still doing it. Go ahead, I'm go saying, ahead. I was just gonna, doing a great job of escaping the pass rush right there. Still a big third down play here for the Bison. Third and nine Sorry. coming up. I got the highlight machine working right again. I, wanted to, I wanted to show it off. Oh, of course. <laughs> or the replay machine, I should say. Third and nine play here for the Bison. Love still in at wide receiver position. Oh. Flag comes in. We'll see if it's gonna go against the Bison or not. Two Bison jumped off. The defensive player on the end here, number 25 for the Ravens, stepped across. Yep, I saw that as well. But then he was pointing at the interior lineman of the Bison. It's like, hey, he jumped. Oh, they mark it off against the Ravens. So third and nine will become a third and four. Beautiful job, great. Great luck there also. Third, third, okay. 6.41 left to go here in the third quarter, third and four. Harris with the snap, four wide, single man in the backfield, finally chunks it, middle of the field and caught at the 36 yard line. That'll be another first down for the Bison. And also another great catch by Carl Stewart. Catch by Carl Stewart for a first down. And ladies and gentlemen, just a quick announcement. We are getting down toward the last of the Warriors and Gatorade. Uh, if you are feeling yourself a bit parched, please make that trip on down to the set, to the catch, catch and stand. Harris with the snap, four wide. Love in the backfield, finally releases, caught somewhere around the 30. Big hit. This time, number 19, Gerald Citradon gets his number called from the wide receiver position. It's gonna set up a second and seven for the Bison on the Raven 32-yard line. Citrodon will move back to the backfield. Love will stay in a wide receiver spot. Dumps it off to Citrodon. Citrodon rumbles forward, tries to spin out of a tackle. Still keeps his pumping forward and gets all the way up to the 31 yard line. So good job getting past the line of scrimmage plus one. Still brings Pretty up a third and yard. six for the, the Bison. Third and six, got it. Brings up a third and six. 
So just me, it's the third quarter moving along pretty good. Oh, here, third quarter's moving around very, very nicely. More importantly, the temperature feels way better. <laughs> Sun's gone down. Temperature's probably in the mid to low 90s finally. I know those guys down there on the field are loving it too. Flag comes in. That's in the holding area. Rumbling forward all the way up to the 25 is Citradon, but this is probably going to come back. It's in the oh, area right. first to get a first down. Holding on the offense. Yep. So unfortunately, the first down pass won't matter. 10 yard penalty. It's going to bring up uh, third, third and 11, down. right? I believe that's, yep, third and 11 is correct. Oh, he said a 10 yard penalty. Oh, holding, yeah, 10 yards. That's going to be when I have third and 16. Correct. Man, you're the goodest at math. 92 degrees, according to uh, local television weather app that mm -hmm. shall remain nameless, but. I'll take 92 over 102, which is what it was when we got here today. Oh, my God. After the penalty, third and 16 for the Bison. 3.56 left to go here in the third quarter, four wide. The snap back to Harris. Citradon in the backfield. Harris steps up, slings a bullet to the center of the field, oh, and in, and, in and, and out, out of, of the hands. hands of Love. Right at the first down marker. That will bring up fourth and long for the Bison. That was a beautifully thrown ball. A lot of heat on that one. You had three uh, Raven defenders on Love's back, but it, it was still... I think, you know, from my perspective, a very catchable football. I'm trying to think what's off in that direction. Maybe maybe Cedar Park? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Cedar Park, Leander. So four, fourth in Cedar Park? Mm. Three thirty-nine on the clock. Clock stops after the incomplete pass. Fourth and 16, and the Bison are going to go for it here. The snap. Harris steps up in the pocket. He's in trouble and goes no. down. A fourth down sack will be a turnover on downs for the Ravens, and they'll take over Back from the, the Bison 44-yard line. Number nine. A little and jawing a down there as well. The turnover on downs. We got a man down for the Bison. Player on the field. We do have a Bison injured at the 50-yard line. Thirty-six left to go on the clock as they attend to the injured Bison player. Not quite sure who it is just yet. They apparently are going to take a very, very close look at this individual, though. They are removing what looks like his shoulder pads, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the camera off him. We'll go ahead and. Training staff is taking a look. It looks to be the right leg. Hopefully he'll be all right. We'll take a. Well, this is where we cut the commercial yeah, if we had any. If we had one. Make sure that we are keeping ourselves hydrated. We got a couple more minutes here before we enter the fourth quarter. So 3.36 right left to go in the third quarter. It's been a very hard fought third quarter. Good job by the Bison to start things off the right way, getting that touchdown off the initial kickoff to start the game. But they've kind of hit a quagmire on this last drive. Yeah, they actually have. Both teams actually have kind of hit a wall uh, offensively. It seems like the Ravens have, uh, just because they're always having the ability to eat up clock, they eat up so much clock every time they get on the field, it feels like they're doing a lot more. But honestly, in the third quarter here, it's really been more about the Bison with the amount of time they've had on the field. They've way. produced more yardage. So, um, unfortunately, it just it's just one of those weird second halves where penalties are playing a huge part right now. And good to see the injured player on uh, getting help off the field, but on his feet, none, all the same. So just to reset things now after uh, what basically in the end turned out to be kind of a disastrous drive for the Bison. Right. All right, so we're going to turn it over. 
First and 10 now for the Ravens at their own 40, 44. 44. Yes, sir. So the Ravens kind of in the catbird seat right now. They can afford to burn. In fact, it's to their advantage to burn up clock like you were talking about. It's something they're really good at. So once the injured Bison is able to clear the field of play, then they'll get this game underway again. They had to remove the shoulder pads in the jersey of the young man. So no, I'm not quite sure who it is, but he is definitely not uh, in a good way. This game is back underway, though. 3.36 left to go here in the third. First and 10 for the Ravens, and a big run right up the middle. Ball's on the turf. Ravens able to get the ball back, though, at the about the 47, 48-yard line. So Ravens almost a very costly mistake there still. Get some positive yardage Monterey, off the play, though. The I give credit to the uh, Ravens offensive Reed. line, too. They kind of opened up. It, it, it looked like he was, like, going through a death, you oh, know, yeah. the death star trench. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But that's also not good for the Bison because we go back to the early to mid first quarter and the early second quarter. That would not have happened back then. Right. So things are definitely breaking down on the in, in the interior there. Second and six for the Bison, excuse me, for the Ravens. From their own 48-yard line, Carter with the snap. Quick handoff and had the opportunity to go nowhere, but with the big run, Gets past the first down marker all the way up to the Bison 43-yard line. And again, big number third, number two with the carry. Big number two, Monte on the carry. He is just really Raider, hard down. to bring down. Sets up a new set of downs for the Ravens. Clock still running because we get closer to the two-minute mark. And this is where clock management becomes a huge concern for the Bison. The snap and the handoff to Anderson. He's stuck at the line of scrimmage, and he's going to go anywhere. This time the Bison were ready for it. No so game first and 10 becomes second and 10. Second down, 10 yards. 146 left to go here in the third quarter. Second and 10 try here, just under a minute and a half left in the third. Big number two in motion for the Ravens. The snap to Carter, but can't get it off in time. We'll have a delay of game penalty, I believe. It's exactly what it is. So second and 10 will become second and 15 with just about a minute to go. The Ravens have done this a couple of times throughout the game, has gotten themselves in decent position, and then and then yeah, penalty shoot brings themselves them back. a foot, yeah. False start on the play, five yard penalty, repeat second down. Was it false start? That no, was a. Mm. Snap to Carter and fakes a handoff. Quick pass near side. Caught at the 40. Trying to fight out of it. Unable to do so. Great open field tackle by number 17, Kadarian Booker. Booker has been on fire defensively. He's gotten some big hits here today as well. Catch made by number 21. A.J. Mitchell on the catch. Gain an eight yard. Looks like he only gets a couple on this one, so it'll be third and eight for the Ravens. They are set up on the Bison 46-yard, 41-yard line, excuse me. A little confusion by the offense. And the third quarter has come to an end. So with that, we'll switch sides, put 15 minutes back on the board, and this is where 
The Bison really, really need to think about making some things happen and make it happen fast. Yeah, I mean, fast running out of time here. I mean, 15 minutes is not as long as you think it is. No, no. no. You know, they, so far, the Bison have outscored the Ravens 7 nothing in the second half, but, right. with, but still being down by nine, they've got to at least get 10 more back on the boards to get, take that, you know, one-point victory. So need a touchdown, a field goal, or a couple touchdowns, whatever it takes. But this is definitely the time to – Put the foot on the gas pedal. Uh, settle for a few safeties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's, that's honestly how the Ravens got into this ball game was with the safety. So I say, this is how, this is why you like me because I'm not afraid to uh, do a callback to the first quarter, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Third and eight for the Ravens. Fifteen minutes on the yeah. clock. Still seems to be a little. Nope. Trying to get somebody across the field over here real quick, and then we'll be back underway. On the training staff or something, making a trip over there to the other side. Oh, you the, oh, no, one of the uh, chain gang. Ah, well, even okay. better. Yeah, you got to have those guys. <laughs> Third and eight snap for the Bison. Uh, Ravens, excuse me. Carter's in trouble. Heaves a bomb down the field and over the head of his intended target. Number 21, A.J. Mitchell. Just didn't have the speed to get there. Carter showing off some arm strength on that one as well. Brings up fourth and eight for the Ravens. And we know that they, uh, they've they only punted one time here today. I don't expect them to punt here. Honestly, this would be the time to – well, no. I no? don't know. To be honest, I don't know. You would I think mean, they would punt. Do they have to? I mean, they're like you said, they're up by nine. Yeah, it looks like they're going to keep the offense out there. They're going to eat some more time off the clock. Plus, the way they've been playing tonight, it's a to <laughs> big possibility they can convert fourth and eight. Yeah, they've converted fourth and 21, so – for a touchdown, actually. Four wide, three at the top. Carter looks that way and can't find anybody with the pressure. Makes him get rid of it a little too soon and underthrows his intended target. Fourth down, turnover. turnover down. And the Bison catch a uh, badly needed break. Absolutely. Still 14.53 left to go in the, in the uh, make that 14.49 here in the fourth quarter. So still plenty of time to get a couple of scores on the board. Try to extend this playoff run. They've had a phenomenal season going 9-1 and one in the regular season. First round of the playoffs, though, it's showing what kind of competition the rest of this, uh, whoever leaves here today. If this is the kind of competition you're going to see in the first round, can you imagine what second and third and championship game is going to be like? Oh, yeah. So Harris and his offensive unit back out on the field. Pretty good field position to start as well from their own 41-yard line. That official gets into position, we'll be ready to go. Four wide for Harris. Low snap, able to bring it in. Gets rid of it far side, caught by Stewart. Shoved out of bounds after about a three-yard gain. That'll bring up second and about seven for the Bison. Make that, yeah, second and seven. Nice little quick pass. Gets some positive Stewart, yardage, stops yard the clock. Second down and seven. So some pretty good clock management plays coming on uh, right here. I like these little out routes. Keep them, keep them close to the sideline. Mm 
Harris with the snap again. Same setup. In trouble. Steps up and goes Ow. down. Unfortunately, he gets grabbed from behind, and as he was trying to work his way out of it, his blocker gets pushed into him. So he'll unfortunately take a, another sack here today. Second and seven will become third and 14. So that was just one of those bull rush plays by this defensive line. So how many sacks is that for Harris today? That's two sacks, That's I believe, two. on the day. Harris looking to throw again, has protection, finally releases and intercepted at the 48-yard line by the Ravens. Up to the 35 and knocked out of bounds. Big interception by number 32, who I don't have on my roster. But here comes the pass right now as we roll back the replay. And yeah, he just got in uh, underneath the intended receiver and the ball fell right into his arms. Good job by the offensive unit to uh, keep that from turning into a pick six. Definitely. But unfortunately, it's still a big interception by the defensive unit for the Ravens. The Ravens will now have a first and 10 from the Bison 33-yard line. Carter with the snap, hands it off to the big guy, number two, right up the middle. He gets close to a first down after rumbling forward. He's going to be one yard shy, so a nine-yard scamper by that big guy. Two, eight-yard gain on the play. Second He's down. been uh, very hard to deal with this entire game. His first play will always stick with me for as long as I remember. What's that? Well, running 11 yards with eight defensive bison on his back. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you mean from earlier in the yeah, game. Yeah, well, well, that's what I meant, his very first play. I thought you meant his first play ever. Oh, no, no. Or the I first play you play ever saw, game. like, like well, maybe you've seen him play before. Oh, no, no, not at all. There's a snap. Carter hands it off again. Big number two's got some room. Dances outside, and he is going to, oh, gets caught from behind with the ankle tackle. Didn't see the defender there for the Bison. Good job by number 23, Rondo play. Middleton, to get in there and save the touchdown tackle. Able to wrap up the ankles. A big number two. Kept him out of the end zone, but job's not done yet. New set of downs. First and goal from the seven-yard line. The snap to Carter, the handoff to number two. He's met in the backfield. He's pushed laterally down the seven-yard line and shoved out of bounds. The ball came loose. They're saying that he was shoved I, out before the ball came out. Yeah, there. yeah, I agree with that, just based on what I was seeing over here on the screen. So we are second and goal. Second and goal from the, looks like the eight-yard line now. Yep. Eleven and a half minutes left to go here in the ball game. And as much as I hate to say it for the Bison, if the Ravens score here, that might be all she wrote. I was just thinking that, but I didn't want to say it. Well, I don't want to jinx. Know. Didn't want to jinx our guys. No, but. I'm not trying to jinx anybody. I'm just be, trying to be, you know, the realization of the football game here. The handoff again. Oh, the turf monster and a big hit down low. Keeps the running back from making it into the end zone. New running back as well. That's number 22. And still missing a number 22. Yeah, 22. There's been a few we're missing off the roster for the Ravens here tonight. Two yard loss so on the way. Third down and goal. Third and goal for the Ravens. Looks like they're set up at the seven yard line. Yeah. 
And the pitch back to Anderson, the speedster who's been dangerous all night. He's been kind of bottled up and yeah. boom! The ball comes out with a big hit. But they're gonna say he crossed the goal line first. Not so there, a touchdown no, for the Ravens. But Anderson gets lit up in the process. And here we see, we're gonna see that right, right about here. Boom, what? there yeah, it is. Yeah, he made it, but just made it. He was about a half a yard inside the end zone when he got blown up by that Bison defender. Score so, now, 32-17. Yeah. That was football right there, folks. That was a great <laughs> run by Mr. There you are, big announcer just said it better than anyone line. could. That was. 32-17. I apologize, our scoreboard is feeling the heat today, folks. Uh, so give it a couple seconds to catch up, and, but it is accurate when it does catch up. 32-17 the score. Just about nine and a half minutes left to go in this ball game. Extra point try, make that the two point conversion. Coming up here for the Ravens. No, actually it does look like they may be going for a field goal. Nope, nope, nope. I apologize. Oh, there's gonna be uh, probably a delay of game there. Yep, delay of game penalty. I was about to say they've been out there a long time. Delay a game on the offense. So from the two goes back to the seven. Repeat the down. So the extra for the two point conversion will now be a seven yard try. Trailing by 25 here. Bisons find themselves in a little bit of trouble. Stranger things have happened. A lot of points have been scored in football games in a lot less time, so it's possible. Absolutely possible. Absolutely. Probable? I don't know. And rolling out. Going to keep it in on his feet. Number eight stepping in at the quarterback position. Jacoby Brightson Jacoby had the Bryson option to throw feet. but decided to hold on to it. So he will get the two-point conversion. So this will be a 34-17 ball game. And, yeah, I think, uh, you know, you never want to get down on your team. You never want to be an ace here, but this is beginning to get out of reach. Yeah, unfortunately, when you're down this far, this late in the game, you've got to have pretty much everything go right from here on out. you got to be able to score fast. you got to be yep. able to get the opposing offense off the field fast. fast. you got to score fast again. It's just there's a lot going on, and uh, the defense can only do so much when the offense has, you know, they can they can sit there and eat up as much of the play clock as they want before uh, they play snap the ball. So. Oh, you know what the best thing would be right now would be a, a kickoff run back for touchdown. I, yeah, well, that would be okay. That would be that an would excellent help things start. out quite a bit. Unfortunately, you know, we talked about the uh, the lack of kicking game. Yeah, for, for, the, for Ravens. the Ravens, and they haven't really put out much in the way of returnable kicks. That's true. That's true. They've all been fairly short and high. They have switched up kickers. Number eight, who filled in uh, for quarterback in that last play on that two-point conversion, is now out there pulling kicking duty. He's been doing that since the second quarter, so Brightson. will send this one down the field. It's a short line drive kick. Bounces at the 15 and into the arms of Love at the seven yard line. Love turns on the Jets at the last minute. He's up to the 25, has blockers in front of him, up to the 35 before he finally gets taken down at the 36. <laughs> I thought Ooh, that. Ooh, and we got a little, little Whoa. extracurricular. Lots of flags come flying in as well. And flags are flying high. Turn on the play. So we'll have uh, definitely a penalty bringing this one back, I'm it sure. It looked like the Bison uh, activity on the special field. teams player was getting the better of the Ravens. Special teams player. Waiting on the official call on the penalty. If we can have the uh, parents to make sure the children aren't on the field playing with the equipment just for their own safety, we would appreciate it. 
Once again, we want to make sure these kids are not on the field, make sure with the equipment for their own safety. So this one definitely uh, having to be talked about a little bit by the officiating staff. I mean, I can imagine, uh, you know, one team one team season is going to end here tonight. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, emotions do tend to run high during those t during times like these. It's not surprising that things get, get up. And I can tell by the hand, yeah, I, I, I can promise you the Bison did not think they'd be in this position. Yeah, They've had dogs, a very, man. very good, good season. You don't, go, you don't, you don't end the season 9-1 and one and go to the first Knocking round of the playoffs and suddenly you see yourself in threat of going home for the season. Chocolate you know, so, messy, but right? the Skittles are still there. And if you haven't had the nacho, ooh wee <laughs> They hit with the uh, jalapenos and it was something about the salt and Somebody go get me some nachos. But we have some unsportsmanlike conduct on the field. Against the bison. Against the also bison against the ravens. Against the ravens. Penalty is offset. Yeah. Referee com coming over to have a word with Coach Brown now. Perhaps a word of warning or of explanation. Looks like of explanation right now. Yeah. But it does appear that we'll have offsetting penalty, so. So first and 10 at the 40. And then, you know, I thought for a second that uh, my prophecy of a uh, big a run back was going to come true. <laughs> yeah, it was looking good there for a second. And I, I have to bring this up because if I don't, for me, the comedic value will go away. But you and I have broadcast every one of the home games for the Bison. Except for one. Well, except for one. Yeah. They're very, the season opener. Right? No. Oh, well, the, and the no, one they for, there was one that was a forfeit that we did. Right. So uh, they thought it would be a forfeit. Let's we don't know if it was or not. But. Oh, no, no, they showed up, and it was a, uh, according to what uh, Jeremy was telling me afterwards, uh, they showed up, and it was just, the Bison just destroyed them. Oh, okay. They showed up with, like, the other team showed up with, like, 13 guys. Go, oh, my gosh. Poor guys. So I'm kind of glad we weren't there because blowouts make bad television. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, go on, please. I'm just going to say that it seems like we've had some kind of, delay due to dis exclamation explanations of penalties in every broadcast everyone or okay where, where's the humor in that i just find it funny it's not lady. funny but i find it funny I, hear you up here. I find you funny <laughs> <laughs> sometimes 914 left to go in this one. Still trying to get things worked out on the field. Fans out here for Bison, where you at? Any Bison fans out here? Make some noise. Bison fans, make some noise. You know, we talked. I talked about though that. Remember in the pregame, we talked about coming to the smaller venue. Yeah. Which I really think First is down, better for this level of football. I really do. I agree with you completely. Because these fans are filling these stands. Yep. But over at Dragon Stadium, you know, it looks like a USFL game between Pittsburgh and New Orleans. <laughs> and they're just you know. spread out everywhere, yeah. All right, first and 10 for our Bison. 9.14 left to go in this ball game. From their own 39, off the fingertips of Love. He had a lot of green in front of him. Incomplete Unfortunately, pass can't love. bring it in. That'll bring up second that and 10. Second down. Does stop the clock, though. You don't want to uh, see the clock stop on incomplete passes too often, but... Perry getting the play. He's going to bring it over to his quarterback, Harris. Say thanks to everybody who's been along with us tonight as we broadcast this game over Facebook Live. I appreciate that. We appreciate you guys tuning in for the entire season, actually. It's been a lot you of fun know, bringing we, it to you. We know you had to pay to be here, so we yeah. triple appreciate it. Yeah, Happy we, week. we actually do. Really do appreciate everybody tuning in. We'd love to hear the feedback. Either reach out to the Bison or... You can reach out to Kevin. Big pass play caught at the 35-yard line. First down pass for the Bison. To Mary Perry coming through big for that first down play. Here it comes again. 
Big boom and throw by Harris. He's got plenty of pass protection that time. He had all the time in the world. Perry and coming Perry back wide for that open. one too. He saw that one was a little underthrown. He took, put on the brakes, took one giant leap forward to make that catch. Beautiful job by this wide receiver. We'll take a little luck with these good plays as well. Harris on the snap. He's in trouble again. He's looking to go down for the third time today. Whistle blows this one dead after a six, make that a seven yard and loss. That is a sack on the play for a loss of seven yards. The Ravens defense Second down, stepping back yards. up after giving up the big pass play now. Second and 17. Nell Harris in the backfield for the third time today. Yeah, where did that, where did that great pass protection go on that? Play? I know exactly, right? 8.30 left to go in the ball game. Bison trying to get another crooked number on the scoreboard, Try to get this ball back as quickly as possible. And dumped off to the running back in the backfield, I believe. Yep, that was number 28. Unfortunately, that's going to be for a loss. Could have been way worse because Harris was in trouble. I don't have a 28 on the roster for the Bison. So now we're at third and 19. Love will stay in the slot position far side. Now he's in motion. Harris slings it in wow. and out of the hands with a lot, little bit of green in front of him to work with as well. Carl Stewart just couldn't come up with it. And that is gonna bring up fourth down. and 19 and the Bison absolutely have to go for it. They have yeah, no listen. choice but to convert this. And I, as much as I also hate to say it, if this doesn't convert, this that's this the season. Seven and a half minutes left. Fourth down, seven well, minutes. Stranger down things have happened. Stranger things have minutes. happened, I agree. Make some noise. Make some noise. Catch some of that noise. One thing I've learned here today, the Ravens know how to eat, and what they eat is clock. They eat a lot <laughs> of clock. Just dump some hot sauce on yep, there. Exactly. And pressure coming to Harris. He's rolling out. Last chance play possibly. Chunks it. Has a man and intercepted at the six-yard line. Third interception of the game for the Ravens defense. Great, great effort play. by Harris, making trying to make something out of nothing. DeAndre right, King right, steps right in front four. of that one. And as much as I hate to say it, every interception here tonight has not been on a wide receiver. Not like it, you know, he was in a bad spot or there was miscommunication. It's really been about ill-advised throws by Harris, and it's just been it's just That's not his kind of game. He's been a really, football. really good quarterback all season long, and today it just seems like. Well, have we, have we seen him run for his life as, as much as he's had to no, today? No, absolutely not. Defense, uh, the Ravens' defense has definitely kept him on his heels all night long. So with seven and a half minutes left to go in this ball game, the Ravens' offense will take back over. And, you know, if they're smart, they will burn up as much as, well, you said, that their favorite dish is clock. That, exactly. Clock. clock. Little delay getting this one back underway after the big interception. Ball is spotted at the seven yard line. Bison defense is gonna sleep good tonight, that's for sure. They've been on the field quite a bit, especially in that first half. A Couple of minor injuries, one big one here for our Bison. But uh, looks like for the most part, timeout by the Ravens. They were getting close to running out of play clock there. 
and they don't want to take a chance on getting. I mean, oh, you, yeah. a d delay a game on the other guy's right, 20 right. is one thing. Taking yeah. it on your own. Uh, Seven-yard line. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be back at your two. Because we've seen how that worked out tonight. Yeah, <laughs> we know exactly how that worked. Unfortunately, it didn't work out well at all for uh, the Bison. 34-17 ball game here from uh, the Mil McNeil Maverick Stadium. We appreciate the Mavericks for opening up their facilities to the Bison and letting them put on this playoff game. And you know, I, I you know, I just want to say when it, when it comes to the school districts in Texas, you mm -hmm. know, um, the sub varsity football facilities have just been getting better and better and better. I work with a guy who just moved here back last August from the Connecticut area. Yeah, and he's we talked about football and and he was driving through San Marcos the other day, and he drove by and he said he saw the Rattler Stadium, and so when he got to work he was like, hey, the Rattlers is that a is that a uh, semi-pro or a pro football team and i was like no that's a high school man that's high school <laughs> he goes there's no way that was a high school football stadium i said absolutely that and was they, a high and, school and they fill the joint every game every <laughs> game so he happened to be driving into pflugerville the next day and i said well you're going to be the way you're going he's going to a job site you're going to be driving by the field i said that host for pflugerville isd football uh, teams wait till you see that one so he came back to work the uh, back to the office and he goes and I tried to show him a few pictures, and he was like, yeah, the pictures didn't do it near justice. He goes, that was an unbelievable football field in Pflugerville. So, the yeah. The field? The puff field. Yeah. It's, well, you're not supposed to say it that way. I know. It's the field. Angry run. Seven-yard game. But, you know, I think you and I can both remember a time when we'd be at a field like this, and uh, it'd be just patchy, half-dead grass. Oh, and yeah. We, we might be calling the game from the back of a pickup. <laughs> yeah, so. or right here in the stands with the fans. Which we thought we were going to do tonight. Which you know, and I want to thank the uh, I want to thank the school staff as well for letting us come into this press box. Oh, I'm, absolutely! It's marginally cooler in here. Round Rock ISD has been uh, very good hosts for us. We appreciate it. Oh, well, I guess I should update the <laughs> second and three down here. Big run by Anderson out to the twenty yard line. And that's going to be a first down. And that's going to be two yards past the first down oh, marker. Run by Mr. Anderson for a Raven first down. So the Ravens able to keep the clock running as well as keep the drive alive. Oh, no, we have a penalty on the play. Holding going against the Ravens, so the first down run will be negated. We have a flag on the play. Holding on the offense. So the Ravens hurt themselves quite a bit on that one. Might explain how that hole opened up for Anderson to get through, though. <laughs> yeah. See, so somebody uh, held it open? <laughs> Nicely done. Da -dun He'll be here for six minutes and 18 more seconds, folks. Holy hey, From the five now for the Ravens. On his goal line, finally the handoff up the middle, and that is that big number two on the ground. No, that's not number two. Able to get past the 10-yard line, almost to the 15. Big that's number 22 the with the carry. We don't have him on the roster. Haven't had yeah, him all night. Yard. Let's see where are we at. Three. Third and three. Third down and three. Yes, yes sir. Three. Third and three for the Ravens now. As we tick closer and closer to five and a half minutes. And th this is, <laughs> chances are, this is what, gonna, what we're going to see the rest of the game, just oh, grind, yeah. grind out the clock. Bison showing like they want to bring it. They do. Quarterback's in trouble, rolls out of that one, and finally gets taken down inside the five-yard line. No flags on the play. So a great Back job the by the way. Bison defense to get a sack. That's going to be their first one of the game. You can see number 13 comes in from the defensive end position. He's the first one to get a hand on Carter, and then he gets ganged up on, ten -yard loss on the play. and takes a 10-yard loss on fourth the play. Down. Huge fourth down play here for the Ravens. All the way back on their own four-yard line. Might see 
only their second punt of the game. You do see some more players coming in. Looks like a specialty unit might be swapping in. Yeah, number eight. Kind of the U, uh, U, Ulitarian player out there, Jacoby Brightson. Looks like he might be sending this one down the field for the punt, or with the punt. Lots of flags come in. I believe we're going to have a delay of game going against the Ravens. They were waiting on players. Lots of personnel missing on this special delay team. Delay game penalty on the Ravens. Half a distance to the goal. So Repeat for a They were on the two. Put them on the one. It's fourth and well, you 14. Know how, you know how great it would be to get that block, that punt, and get the touchdown right here? That would be amazing. I'd take that all day, right? I'd save that highlight clip. <laughs> well, let's see what happens here. Still waiting on players to get out on the field. After taking the delay of game penalty, the Ravens are kind of falling apart here. We're five and a half or four and a half minutes left to go in the game. And what and now? another. No, this time we'll have a timeout. The Ravens call timeout to oh, avoid okay. the next timeout. delay of game penalty. Ravens. Four minutes, 20 well, seconds left to go in this ball game. 34-17 your score. This might be one of the last opportunities to go get the last bag of onions. Go and get some Cheetos. <laughs> and everybody's favorite, Red Gatorade. Thank you to all the friends and family that we made that We appreciate everybody tuning in and checking out the broadcast, not only Before tonight, but the entire week. season. Uh, the what yeah. few games we did were able to put on for the Bison. Today. Looking Probably. forward to seeing if this uh, relationship continues future. next season. Well, they're telling me, uh, ahead, yeah, yeah. The we'll see. Game today. A lot of fun to call football Ravens in the springtime. The a little hot right now, but <laughs> <laughs> still a lot of fun to call football. Yeah. Keeps the pipes worked ready to go for nothing in a couple of months when we get ready to do some high school. And football. that's going to come up before you know it. August 19th, I believe. August 19th? Kicked. August 19th is our first official game, yeah. Yeah. So that's like seven weeks. Yeah. Maybe eight weeks. Wow. <laughs> No rest for the wicked, baby. And, and no kick. The guy threw a pass. And a big fake. And this is what you got to watch out for. The Ravens not trying to score. Are they going to score? Are they going to score? Uh, no, they no. are not. That is going to be a 98-yard pass. Line. For the Ravens on a special teams on play, play that completely has Get blown up this fan base. Oxygen. Holy cow. Because he made me tired. <laughs> uh, Bison were not ready. They were not prepared for that, that uh, little trickeration. And now this defensive unit has got to stay on the field for a new set of downs. And not only a new set of downs, but inside the red zone, the Ravens pulling yeah, out all the stops to get to the next round of the playoffs. Bison are going to call a timeout with 3.58 left to go here in the ball game. The ball is all the way down on their own two-yard line. Bison timeout. Well, I mean, who expects a fake in that, especially from a team that's, uh, you know, up by – I don't know. I'm not Mr. Math at the moment. I can't do it. Six, uh, 26 points. Up by 26 points. Who expects that? Yeah, not us. That's for sure. And, you know, a lot of people would look at that and say, what? what, what? You know, may, might think that was piling on or whatever. I don't know. But See, you and I have – we've had this conversation before, especially at the high school level. Yeah. It, it's a timed event. Right. The object of the game is to score as many points as possible. So – in the spirit of those overall, that very broad spectrum, how do you get upset for a team for scoring points before the clock strikes zero for the last time? I don't know. I'm I not get upset. It, but I'm I don't, not upset. Well, I'm not but saying I'm get like, upset. But I I'm don't understand. They call it running up the score. I don't, uh, you know. It's it just didn't make sense to me tactically oh, given no, the I overall, get get overall game situation. Football. Oh, absolutely. I completely agree with you. Strategically, you know, <laughs> maybe, it's, it, maybe it sends a message to the next opponent. Maybe. Maybe.
Handoff, big back in the backfield. He's gonna find some room on the near side and dance his way into the end zone untouched. Number 22 for the Ravens. We might have a flag on the play. So laundry on the field. Yeah, we do have a flag at the two yard line here on the near side. So this may be a holding call going against the Ravens. If that's the case, we'll be looking at first and goal from the two back to first and goal to the 12. Personal foul holding in the offense, 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. So the holding call does go against the Ravens. Take the touchdown off the board and let's keep it playing. 348 left to go in this one. Keep your eye on Jacoby Brightson. He's in the quarterback position under center. A little wildcat formation here for the Ravens. And he's going to hold on to it himself. Rolls out far side. Finally throws it. Has a man and catches it. So a touchdown yep. pass resulting. Touchdown and six more points on the board for the, the Ravens. That'll make okay. this 40 Raven to 17 down. with the extra point try slash two point conversion coming up. Well, you know, you said earlier you didn't think this was Makes the game that the Bisons Ravens expected 40, to have. I didn't expect Bison it either. No, I really, honestly, I didn't expect it. I thought, I didn't realize that they've struggled over the last four or five weeks, but yeah. they've found a way to win over those last four or five weeks. No matter what, they have found a way to win. And we saw that in the, the game, the last game we broadcast against the Vipers. We saw how much they battled in that game. Right, they came from behind in that game. Yeah, and we ended up winning by 15. So when we were down at halftime, I really was like, okay, our guys are going to find a way to battle back in this one, and they're going to come out of this with a victory. And I really thought that they had uh, the, whole, the whole game in front of them, but unfortunately more, uh, more flags on the field as well on that two-point conversion. And more laundry on the field. But uh, unfortunately, the Bison are just going to give up this, this, uh, this game, and it's going to be the end of the season. But what a season it's been. Yeah. They've got a lot to be proud of. They've got a lot to build on. Hopefully the uh, – Recruiting and the retention will keep a lot of these guys on the squad. They've got a lot of guys on their roster with an R next to their name, just a ton of rookies that you can see what they were able to do with all of that young talent on this field as, as well. Even though they were loaded with rookies, nine and one season, made it to the first round of the playoffs, played a hell of a game here today, just unfortunately could not keep the offense on the field and penalties as bad as it was for both teams. It was a little worse for uh, our Bison here. Today. Line up for the two point. So, okay. We're doing that over. And the ball hits the turf on the bad snap for the two-point conversion. So that'll be no good. No so good. that'll keep your score 40 to 17. 341 still to go in this ball game. So the Bison still have an opportunity to at least put another crooked number on the scoreboard before we get out of here tonight. A lot of emotion out there on the field before that uh, two-point conversion try. The Bison having to call a timeout to get set up for that. A lot of vocal leaders out there tonight for uh, the Bison, trying to figure out where things went south, and you know. Sounds like we're about to get rocked. <laughs> now you see, if you look on the screen here, you see how the fans are shaking the <laughs> oh yeah, shaking the facility to the point that it's making the clock cam vibrate. That's funny. 
See, oh. you don't you don't get that in a full size stadium. That's true. That's true. If we were in the, you wouldn't even know they were. St I mean, you might hear it, but you wouldn't see the clock cams vibrating. That's for sure. Brightson puts a boot into this one, sends it downfield, takes a bounce at the ten, and scooped up at the two yard line by Love. Love breaks it back inside. He's going to take the sideline. This could be trouble. Flag comes in very late as Love able to make it up to the 47-yard line. Head referee throws a flag all the way back here at the 22. Second flag on the far sideline at the 25. We'll be looking at holding more than likely around those areas. Still, as we look at that run again, it uh, was a great run. Love is a very dangerous returner, great running back. He's got the perfect blend of elusiveness and speed. He has the ability to make cuts, and it doesn't really hurt him But when it's you know, talking about his ability to. But he doesn't lose any speed it, when he makes that right, cut. Some, yeah, some just, people give up speed for that agility, but he doesn't. He's no. got it all. Illegal block on the play. Ten yards so the, the big foul. return by Love will be negated by the penalty. That will back him up to their own 15-yard line with three and a half minutes left to go. Bison still have a lot of fight left in them, not giving up. You can tell that by that kickoff return by Love. Love in the wide receiver's position, slot position far side. Delay handoff right up the middle. Good play there by the Bison. Setting up a huge first down run of about 15 yards. Beautiful carry by number 28. 28 again, not on our roster here for the Bison. Run by number 28 for a Bison first down. Clock ticking down to the three minute mark with a new set of downs for the Bison from their own 33 yard line now. Raven showing blitz. Harris throws it, has his man caught at the 39, pushes off a would-be tackler. Second effort gets him up to the 42. Jamari Perry on the catch, getting his number called for the fourth time here today. For a bison first also down. working in uh, some special teams as well. Did unfortunately give up the fumble on that special teams return, but turned around and made up for it on the next return. About a 40-something yard return, I believe, he followed it up with. Harris looking to throw again, has Love far side, a little dump off pass, and gets to the first down marker. So a new set of downs for the Bison with just about That's two minutes left on the Bison clock. Clock stops. Two minute warning. Two minute warning for the uh, Bison. This is really where you kind of see how much metal you got left, you know. You got two and minutes left. Strong, finish strong, put another strong. cricket number up. Yeah. Not sure what that sound is. Sounds like a drum corps going on somewhere. Maybe somebody's practicing their drum cadence yeah. on, the, on the metal of the stands. <laughs> Maybe. Timeouts come to an end, or the two minute warning, I should say, has come to an end. And there's the snap, Harris. Option play, pitches it out. Not gonna get caught in the backfield, the hustle. Able to get number 28 about three yards past the line of scrimmage. That'll three yard run on the play. Nicely done by number 28. That'll bring up second and second seven. Down and seven. Clock still wound, wound, excuse me. Right at a minute and a half. And okay. So the scoreboard graphic control has uh, gone out. That's why it's still reading first and goal. Bison. So just ignore that. 
You can see in the camera view the uh, down marker and chain gang across the uh, across the way. Another timeout on the field. 127 left to go in this ball game. 40 to 17, your score. Ravens over our Bison. Ravens will go on to the next round of the playoffs. The Bison, unfortunately, will have their season come to an end. But it, like I said earlier, it has been a really good season. Nine and one in the regular season. You'd love to see them make it to that championship game. There we go. But unfortunately, it won't happen for them this year. Unfortunately not. Might have been nice to tag along on that run. Yeah, it might have been fun. Where do they play the championship game? I was game? just about to ask you that question. I have no idea. This is my first, this is my first time doing that. <laughs> no, I take it back. It's my second. Did a little work with the Wolf Pack a couple of years ago. Yep. Very little. Right. Four wide for Harris as he finds his man over the middle of the field. Going to get a couple of yards on that one. But not a whole lot. Does keep the clock running. Pass Carl Stewart on the reception. Clock stops Here's with, uh, unfortunately, Carl Stewart coming up a little limp there on his right leg. And Carl Stewart will take a knee. So the training staff will come out and take a look at Stewart real quick. 111 left to go here in this ball game, and third and five left for the Bison. Stewart, who's done a phenomenal job tonight, he's only had a couple of passes come off his fingertips. He's made some beautiful ones as well. Injury timeout has come to an end. Clock is running right at one minute left to go. Harris with the snap. In trouble, steps up. Has room. Up to the 50, the 45, the 40, the 45. Puts a shoulder down and makes the defender pay for that hit. Gets shoved out of bounds somewhere around the 33, 34 yard line. 45 seconds left to go in this one, and what a huge run by Harris. Yeah, if you give it to the Bisons, man, you, you know, not going to go down without a fight, not going to lay over. So we are first and 10. Okay. First and 10, new set of downs. Not a whole lot of time left, but still plenty of time to get some kind of points on the board here. Harris with the snap, steps up in the pocket again, lots of green in front of him, finally decides to tuck it and run, close to the first down again. They're telling you to run the, they're saying he stayed in, but he does get a first down. Run with the first down. So Harris using his legs on two back-to-back -back plays, gets his bison two first downs. Unfortunately, he's running out of time to try to get him in that end zone. Down to 25 seconds. Fifteen. The snap. Harris looking to throw again. Steps up, throws, has his man caught. First down, he'll be there. Yep. But do they have Pass complete for they, a bison first down? Bison do not have any oh. timeouts. Yep, that's and it. That is going is to be game. the ball game. A great offensive drive to end the season on. They did a fantastic job connecting on some beautiful plays. Unfortunately, it didn't add up for the entirety of the game. They lose this one 40 to 17, first round of the playoffs. Just uh <laughs> sorry, I turned on the light and Zach was just uh, he's got his reflection. having a little bit of fun there. So unfortunately the bison do call an end of the season, but man. I, I couldn't be more happy to have been here for it to uh, call the home games and, and well, there we get go. to witness. Let, let's let's get let's get let's do one last oh, two shot. What do you say? So, uh, so yeah, there so you, go. you get to see the old guys. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah, it has been a good time. It, it was fun. great for uh, Coach Coach Brown and uh, Jeremy and uh, all the Bisons to invite us out here to uh, take this ride with them this season. Um, 
I mean, it's always a blast working with you and getting to know your boys, uh, uh, Zachary and uh, Nicholas. Nicholas. <laughs> that, that's a running joke, everybody, that yeah. I, I can't remember their names. But um, uh, And for everybody who's helped us out with these broadcasts and uh, for my wife who's put up with me coming home after midnight. Yeah. So uh, it's it's been a great time, and I hope to do it again next year. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun for the Bison. I, I think this ball game was actually the tone of it was probably set in the first quarter. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we saw the Ravens come out and just kind of just take over that first quarter completely. We were only on the field for three and a half minutes that first quarter, so offensively. So now, coming uh, out in the second hard. half, though, things oh, look yeah. very promising on that really initial promising. drive. Just a real lightning strike and. Then it just never can't quite came back. Yeah, the, the lead was too big and the time was too little, unfortunately, for our Bison. Uh, Ravens able to get the win here and will continue the playoff journey as they go to round two. Uh, not sure who they'll be facing, but we uh, congratulate them and best of luck to them as they continue the playoff run for the Bison. It really has been a lot of fun. We hate to see the season come to an end this way, but they played their hearts out here tonight. I think they really did leave it all on the field. All right, so let's go ahead and leave them uh, – uh, uh, Zach with a uh, with a shot of uh, <laughs> yeah okay Zach go ahead get in the picture <laughs> he did he did <laughs> we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and leave with a shot on the field as we uh, as we take our leave to you any final comments anybody nope no nope. great game lots of fun it was hot ready to go home <laughs> and uh, hit some AC all right so once again your final score the Texas Ravens forty your Capital City Bison seventeen. Hopefully we'll see you next season. Until then, uh, for uh, my partner, Daniel Chance Chancellor, our cameraman tonight, uh, Zachary, whose last name I don't recall again. Langley. Langley. Zachary Langley, thank you. Want to give credit. Uh, I'm Kevin McAdams. Good night, everybody.